got this one line. Just got this one line. I'm let to think that it would go on forever, but I've got just one try. Yeah, I've got this one try. I remember when we were kids. You lost your parents, I heard the hymn. I swore that day that I would love you forever If those were my last words If those were my last words I might never be a captain on a yellow submarine I might never be an actress on a giant silver screen But my heart will make a house standing anywhere you be And my love will hold the diamond shining far as you can see Oh, when we grow old, we grow old with me This one light, one light that shines all my life. Just, Just like a rose blooming out from this desert, oh, I saw these two eyes. Yeah, I saw your two eyes. I might never be a singer who's been knighted by the queen. I might never be a People dance from your window if you see an Irish band, and there I stand, guitar in hand, asking for my love if I could be a man. I hear it so when we grow old, we grow with me. Put up with changes Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where
so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. Take everything we got, give it an honest shot, turning it on and off, we've been sliding, riding the highest dream, keeping the fire real, I call for you, hold your gun, cut the wire, aim for fun, with a light to fire, I've been flying up the ceiling, taking by this feeling, maybe we're invisible, fueling every inch. 
Mas de Nîmes, à Alcoville. Ou de Nîmes, Home for Week des Streams et Matejab. Chateau, it's choose that we're back coming up today on building a nation with treaty united it is the transfer window we've already lined up a few signings which will be joining us momentarily can we find a few more to go with them hopefully we need some bloody midfielders we also have the champions league against psg we've got no chance in hell of getting through but you never know maybe we'll try some magic and find a way past the parisian giants all that and more coming up today on building a nation with treaty united oh hello friendos oh my god Oh, you have no idea how hard it was to get through that, seeing this random stuff going up the side of the screen. <laughs> Holy shit. Older than last... Do you know I do? I feel older. It's weird. Maybe it's the shirt. I just... I feel mature, my friends. <laughs> Holy shit. I need to catch up on some stuff in this feed. Uh, firstly, Mike, thank you for the one gifted... For, thank you for the gifted sub. Mehdi, thank you for the 13 months. Mike, thank you for the five gifted subs. That's insane of you. Thank you very much. Hope you had a great birthday too. Ice Battler with the 17 months. Thank you so much. Mike with the five gifted again. Thank you, man. Um, Pog with the gifted sub to Scott. El Gordo with the five gifted. A bearded child with the 21 bloody months. And we're all caught up. Who is it? I know. Imagine that. It's probably the first new clothes I've bought in a long time. And Icarus with the 100 bits. Oh, this should be interesting. my dog and my dumb am. It's almost like Ingrid's really comfortable when she's speaking Norwegian. Who could have predicted that? How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all good today. Oh, K10. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, childish nonsense. You're right. Yeah, what was I thinking with that kind of behavior? Good lordy. Oh, right. I need a drink now. My throat is feeling awful dry this morning. I've not drunk enough water. I hope you guys are good. So, today's... Oh, wait. Whoa. Holy God. Medi. Oh, my shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Medi, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs and ice ball. <laughs> thank you so much for the 10 gifted. What is this? Yes, you're right. <laughs> Presence indeed. Thank you so look, That's insanely nice of you guys. You're too kind. Um, yeah, we, we had a good... I hope anyone else who had a birthday over the weekend as well, I hope you had a good, be a good birthday. Technically, ours wasn't actually over the weekend. It was on... Oh my God. Dazzle with the five gifted as well. <laughs> Holy shit, an email. Oh my days. What? The entire feed is just gifted subs. I can't see any messages. <laughs> Emu, thank you for the. Dazza, thank you for the five. D Emu, thank you for the ten. What is this? Thank you so much. 600 fucking hell. Who needs check? Yeah, nobody's allowed to say anything anymore. It's just gifted subs. <laughs> Oh my god. Do not hate me. Oh my I god. Pine FC, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, who's managed to dodge? Oh, oh, obrigado. Thank you, Pine. Welcome aboard. Sub only and no one will look. That's the beautiful thing. We could do sub only. No, we, I would never ever do that. And you know for a fact that's not something I would ever do. But there has been situations where I felt to myself, we could probably get away with that and no one would notice. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. Oh, if only it was 669%. That's the dream. I don't think it's even possible. I mean, it probably is, but it would need like a really specific bit amount or something that wouldn't like line up properly holy shit thank you so much guys that's unbelievably kind rude <laughs> it is a bit it's very bit blue bit blue of me this early in the morning it's not even the watershed or nothing paolo now with the gifted sub to elden rain thank you so much and captain zeep with the eight months as well uh, we'll come in a month yeah true that's tough oh my lord what on earth Sheeny, what the fuck with the 10 gifts? I guess I lose a sub message a channel. Un comment a month could be tricky So that's, the, that's like the only way you're allowed to speak is through the TTS on the resubs. 
Oh my god. Sheeny, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. I'm just going to keep pressing the presents button, aren't I? Lord Richard with the 100 bits as well. Thank you so much. That's everyone. That's that's surely everybody now. <laughs> Particularly with it being early in the stream, because less people have arrived at the moment. Rubio with the seven months too. That was good. I liked that a lot. Oh my days. Mike with the... T what is going on? Mike with the 10 gifted subs. A thousand... You haven't been able to watch a lot of streams this year. Visage triste been so busy, but I am back now. Hey, Rubio, if you've been busy, hopefully that's for a good reason, my man. But thank you so much for joining us today. <laughs> because apparently, we we'll progress eventually. <laughs> Holy shit. Hello, Pog. I don't know what's happening, Pog. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I do know. I'm just a little bit in awe of it. It's the, I mean, it is possible, but it would also probably... It's not something that happens to us. That is an insane. That's one of the highest hype train numbers I've ever seen. Hello, Harp. How's it going? Get a muffin at lunch. You have to. Lloydy with the eight months and Emi with the gifted sub to bang average. How are you going? Hi. You're right. Hello. Just come up to witness this. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. That's insanely kind of you. <laughs> Four hour hype train. I don't think that's even possible, is it? Because I think once it reaches level five, it just times out after five minutes and then it ends no matter what you do. It's weird that they don't have any levels beyond that, really. But I suppose the, the higher percentage number is more fun, isn't it? Icarus with the 100 bits as well. Thank you so much. Holy God. Yeah, the, the true cool people are the ones without the sub badges. Ooh, the <laughs> Ice Battler with the gifted sub to Taint Goblin 69. Holy God. <coughs> For some reason, Rubio's uh, sub badge has now disappeared. 69 subs, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, that's impressive. Chat, 69 subs. you did it. <laughs> You actually did it. We that that was a 69 sub hype trade. That is superb work. <laughs> that is tremendous effort there. I don't know if anyone actually knew that was what could happen because I don't think you could see until afterwards. <clears throat> the, I'm oh, proud of you. oh, my throat's actually gone. That's incredible. Could anyone? We can't see how many it was, could we? That's no. incredible. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Holy shit, my throat's actually gone here. Oh god. We had a good day yesterday. We had a good. What's up? Well, that will come into this particular piece of conversation now, won't it? So, we had a good day yesterday. We, I let him bed for a bit, read some book. That was nice, as is always. Had a bath. That was good. And then we went out to Cambridge. Uh, we went to Costa to get... You know, you get a free cake every birthday. Both walking in there with our apps ready to get our free cakes, which was nice. <coughs> then, <coughs> oh my God. Went to the shop. M got this. Because reasons i suppose it's, it's it's called a what is it squishmallow. it's called a squishmallow uh it's a corgi apparently and so uh there you go regina clip nose clip clip secret collector uh, uh, of corgis oh no, I'll, I'll talk to <laughs> clip just coming in with a weird not oh okay presents are back to be fair they deserve to be here um then we did a bit of shopping i bought clothes chat me like a considerable amount of them for once in same times down with the 50 bits as well oh good lord you recovered excellent news morning matt good news even record over there from covid go order news i'm on my way to swansea come on you vitus can we just talk about how she uh, he, she said that as good order news <laughs> tactico thank you for the raid welcome in everybody oh dear i thought you looked shit today how dare you how dare you i thought i looked rather pog well, not as pog as pog, but close enough, right? I know. Buying clothes a lot of stuff. I'm wearing new jeans. I'm wearing a new shirt. I, I basically, everything I'm wearing is actually brand new, except my pants. I even bought new leisure wear chat. A considerable amount of it. I'm going to be so damn comfortable. They even match. What's up? Oh, and also pog got this. You're going to have to stand up, love, because it's hidden in the light. So there we go. We had a nice And then we went to Pizza Hut. Because obviously, oh my god, the presents are back. You know what? I'm going to leave that on for the moment. <laughs> I don't think I was able to press it enough, to be honest with you. So it's there. So yeah, all in all, we had a lovely day. Did I buy a new vest? <laughs> you joke, but yes. <laughs> I did. And the best part is they're way too tight and do not fit properly. <laughs> oh my days. Emu with the 50. What the fuck? Oh, you'll see it, Bengal Costa. Emu, thank you for the... Hang on. 1,050. But good God, what's going on today? We'll have to get a free cake when it wasn't. I mean, I did wonder if that's what they thought we were doing. Because it's like, we're both there with our app being like, oh, it's our birthday. And they're like, mm-hmm, is it? But... And then we had to go. <clears throat> we literally had to go. To, no, it genuinely is yeah. our birthday. I was about no, to get my driver's oh. license out, damn it. <clears throat> oh, oh. 
Hey, look. I went for the most expensive cake. Standard. I had a brownie. Chocolate orange street here cake. Incredible. Oh, dear. Yeah, so I haven't heard the Norwegian song yet, Maddie, but I'm looking forward to just everything of it. I'm looking forward to everything related to Eurovision. Do you know what I'm going to do now, chat? I'm going to go off of the uh, the squad in, uh, off of the info screen for uh, Treaty United because I've been sat on it for the past 21 minutes. <laughs> Imagine the scenes. So, before anyone asks, have you made any signings? Yes, it's a fucking have. All right, let's 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 take you through the new people because some of them are poggy. Uh, you might notice, though. Eh. Eh. Worries. See you later, Pog. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Love hate relationship with football. Yeah, I watched, they actually caught a bit of, I say caught a bit, I watched a lot of the United City game on uh, Sunday. It seemed like United were okay in the first half, and then they just weren't in, in the second half. It did seem to get a little bit off the rails there. So, yeah, new boys. <clears throat> We've got Stefan Carpenu, who I, I think he's going to be pretty good one day. The fact is, he's 18 years old. He's going to, yeah, offers on Doran indeed. He's going to be. He's got good physicals. He's not the tallest, which is one downside, but he's, he's speedy. He's got good stamina, acceleration, reasonable tackling. I've got him working on his defensive position to get that marking up a little bit. His crossing and dribbling are not bad for an 18-year-old, in fairness. So I think we've done a good piece of business getting Stefan Carpenu in, which is useful. <clears throat> but he's not the big one. <clears throat> Bloody hell. He's not the big one. The big one. Yeah, he's 18. Exactly. Mihai Aloku. Oh, and yes. You'll note that he's got important player because I remembered to do the thing. He's in. Oh, this guy is ridiculous. I I'm actually staggered that we were able to pull this deal off. No shots. That would make sense. This is probably the best signing I think we've made in the entire save so far, honestly. Mikhail Alaku. What was he? Three million pounds? It was barely anything in the grand scheme of things, particularly as he's already doubled in value by joining us. And that says something about the quality of a player if their value doubles are joining us. Uh, he's just ridiculous. I've got him working on his passing and vision. Because for an advanced playmaker, it's actually kind of low compared to the ridiculous mentals and the ridiculous physicals that this lad has. Looks okay. Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. Oh, there's so many good young Romanian players. There's another guy I want to show you guys in a minute as well, actually, that we might try and pick up too. We also have uh, my man Kennedy here, who was like 200k and has immediately jumped to like two million pounds in value. So that's good. He's still on loan at Supersport though, because obviously they wanted that as part of the deal. And we just kind of went with it because he was already going to be, um, he wasn't going to be homegrown anyway. So we take, we took that one. Oh, know what year it is. Oh, how was Rome? That sounds awesome. I've been to Rome in ages. Like a long, like 20 years. And also we got Rastislav Sluka, uh, the youngster that we were, uh, just pick it up because again, available, not the best signing, but he's there. And there's also a few more that, uh, I want to have a little crack at. Uh, right, so, a few more players that I want to show you because we've already got a few scouted and I want to kind of deep in... Die. So, apparently, there was an issue, and I don't know if this has been fixed, but I believe someone told me that Zealand talked about this, where the world knowledge was not increasing no matter what you did. Can anyone confirm if that was the case? Because if so, that would explain why, despite us getting better in that area the actual knowledge when we're looking for general players when we're just looking through the player search has not been improving it's just been the same oh the thing so basically the thing with him being an important player essentially is that we're trying to avoid i say trying to avoid avoiding at all costs any player that wants a star player uh status in the squad because it actually for the league the way that this league is set up it is broken to the point where it makes the game unplayable or certainly no fun so the what you do if you get a player that's on a star player contract and it's the only way you can get them in when they join you, the very first day, you can dump their squad status down by, I believe, one notch, and they don't complain about it. And that way, we won't have any issues with him complaining. Essentially, the reason we had to do it is because with the fixture congestion in Ireland, there's no way that they can play every single match because you get four games in a week sometimes. The problem you have is a star player will expect to play in all of those matches, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's kind of dumb. Oh, a nutty away game on a Tuesday. So what was the situation? It takes longer than it should. Because I heard that they changed something about it with the latest update, and apparently they'd fixed it or something. But, uh... Yeah, uh, I don't know. The game logic extremely slowly. Oh, that's really dumb. Because it used to be way better before. Um, so that would explain a little bit for me as to why, when we're looking at the player search screen, we've got a little bit less starting information than I believe we used to with Thromsa. It felt like we had more information about more players with Thromsa, and we were able to gain that knowledge quickly, particularly as the way I scout. Our scouts spend a lot of time in varying countries around the world, so you'd expect them to get better knowledge quicker. But there you go. The nation scouting. Yeah, that seems pointless. Um... Continue past team meetings. Really? Some of them you can, I believe. Um, 
some of them are highlighted in red. Like, there's certain meetings that you're not allowed to skip, right? Like the preseason and the postseason meetings. I think all the others technically can be skipped. My experience, anyway. The last street street. I hopefully uh, that was Thomas. Hopefully Thomas is good. Uh, he might not be into it today, but if he is, then we're, and it, maybe he's just lurking. We're still thinking of you, mate. Hope you're all good. Mm. Oh dear. For title chance. Oh, oh yeah, the title chance is one definitely. Have you tried it in Scotland? I always try it. Oh, is that what he was doing the other day? Right. Okay, fix. Okay, so good. So that makes me think that this window we might take a different approach because. It won't have had time to affect this screen yet. My biggest aim is for us to try and find another central midfielder. There he is. How's it going, man? And, um... Because we want to try and find another centre mid. I'm tempted to go back in for that Danish guy. Or, I want to find another centre back. Because, oh, one thing else I've done. I forgot to mention this, actually. I've got someone on a free transfer. You're going to love this. <laughs> You're going to love this. Uh, future transfers. <laughs> Yeah, I, I might have picked up Gavin on a free transfer from Manchester United. <laughs> For free! He joins us in the summer. The best thing about it as well, he took a wage cut and, and he accepted fringe player status. Like what? I don't even know why he did. He wanted to be a squad player and I was like, what if I go one step lower? And he's like, fine, doing it. So yeah, we've got big Gav as well. Right, we've got some lookups I need to do as well. Holy shit. Hey! JD, how's it going? So there's dashing. Oh, you're too kind to me, sir. Right, let's uh, have a look at some of these requests. Oh, we've only got two. That's fine. Phew. There's so much stuff going through chat this morning. I've, uh, I feel like I've missed some stuff. So if I have, do, I do apologize. So, so what's a great first name? Ah. Oh, apparently, it's so great that the game's not got it. Damn it. Unless this is one of these, like, um, D's Nutsy type names. Or Scott Chegg, as it were. Apologies. Hong Kong. I haven't. Oh, my God. So what are we looking at for Hong Kong? Uh, we want the... <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> this game is broken. No, never. Nothing's broken about it. It's dynamic, James. Come on now. Give it the program. Oh, yeah. I'll show you. And no, it's not St. Mirren. It's actually much worse than that. One step closer to 40. Don't say that. It's true, but don't say that. <laughs> I don't like it. So the, the... Wow, they've actually got some key players that aren't at clubs. I guess you two are getting, uh, what's the word? Trialed. Any fun names? Sweet Wankit is a cool, <laughs> Sweet Wankit. Chat, I need to ask you a question. Sweet Wankit. It's just simple, honest question, right? Uh, beautiful name. Love that. Easily the best we've had so far. Make it to a World Cup. Uh, possibly. I don't know for sure. It sounds like something that would have happened and I would have gone, huh, that's kind of cool, and then moved on. I, I don't think it's, like, as surprising as perhaps some others. But, yeah, I think it definitely has happened. Um, so, one sec. I'll just do the North Korea one and then I'll show you who's bidding on them. But I'll tell you, it's not good news. Not good news at all. I didn't even have to look at who did the North Korea look. up. <laughs> you just instinctively know. Oh, dear. Well, what we can say about them is that, at the very least... There's players in their national team that aren't all from the same squad for once. Because usually the national team is just exclusively April 25th people, isn't it? In fact, this guy's even potentially could be homegrown. I don't know how we're going to scout him. Wait till he leaves. Is that, is that a thing we can do? It's actually quite a nice split. I assume all of these uh, clubs are from North Korea. But the fact that they're actually more of a... There's more like variety in them usually. It's normally all April 25th whenever we look at this screen. But there we go. Uh, what are we looking at? Hong Kong. Oh, French. Ki oh, hello. French Kiss FC. Holy shit. French Kiss Football Club. I like it. I kind of want to know how did that name come about? Like, what was it when they were sat there and were like, yes. Wow, look at the badge. It's actually quite a nice badge, too. I'm a big fan of that. Hong oh, they're already non Lee. Useless. Hello, Obo. How's it going? Picture of your stream I see today. Oh, God, what is it? To be honest, if you wanted to sum up how the first half an hour of today's stream has gone, that picture is kind of indicative of it, I'd say perfectly, to be honest. So, fair one. <laughs> what was their nickname? Did you say they had a nickname? Is that in... Um... 
Oh, wait, is it in general? Am I missing something? Why does it show nicknames? I forget. Oh, it... I swear it used to show it on this screen. I'm sure I'm missing something really obvious here. Turn up to help my younger brother with his referee. Oh, God. That, that's... Yeah, I, I, I do not envy the position you're in, Thomas, but it's just... Oh, I, I don't even know what to say other than that you can get through it. Um, because, like I said before, um, it's always okay in the end, and if it's not the end... If it's not okay, it's not the end. But I know it's not as easy as that. Um, just try to stay strong. I, I, that sounds extremely, like, vague and sentiment... Like, meaninglessly sentimental, but I... I just hope you're okay, man. So That's I all I can really say there. It's Cleo. Thank you so much for the follow. Hang on. What was it? What were we looking at? There. Was it on here? French Chris cannot sign a player from a higher division if they've played at least five games. I have never seen that transfer policy before. Like, I didn't even know you could have that as a transfer policy. As far as, like, even in the editor, I didn't know that was possible. Is that, like, a hard-coded thing? I mean, obviously it is, but, like... Get channel points like Amelie. Uh, so, basically, there is. There is a, um... Could be a league rule. Ah, uh, maybe. But that's a specific transfer policy. The only way... You can get the, um... The points by gambling them on the bets. But we haven't done as much of that lately. Um, basically. I always forget about it. I forgot that you could even do that most of the time. A challenge one. Yeah, well, there's some interesting ones like that. I'll, I'll put that in a TikTok for most challenging saves. Not that it would matter because it's a non-league club in Hong Kong. I don't imagine there's a playable database out there for that just yet, my friends. So, what I was going to suggest is that we go back in for um, Mr. Thighs. Because, you know, what do you do when it's cold? Your thighs freeze. I suspect that we can get him. But I'm willing to give it a crack again. If they'll accept the same terms. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that perhaps they're not going to accept the same terms. <laughs> we agreed to do... Did he sign a new contract or something? No. He's not even signed a new contract. That's... Not since we looked at him, anyway. How the fuck does that happen? We had a deal agreed for £3 million... He's not signed a new contract, and now they want 17 million. Yes, Pog. That fell out the window. <laughs> Bottle of Tango just fell out the window. <laughs> Classic. Well, looks like we're not getting thighs freeze. Uh, that's a shame. To be fair, he's not as good as the Romanian guy anyway. I mean, I say that. He's got better teamwork and a few other areas that are slightly better, but I would have still rather liked him. Um, to be honest, let's be honest. I would have liked him. Oh, okay. How am I stop that from happening every time i switch back to the screen where's my falling presence button gone god damn it wait where has it gone there it is phew yeah i don't want him anyway he's rubbish useless um so okay, we're probably not getting him are we that's very i've never seen a price change like that when they haven't changed i figured if they changed contracts then fair my guess is we can't even the thing is we can't even ask his agent so they're still saying they want between 700k and 6.8 million <laughs> Wait a year and get for free. That ain't happening. They'll just sign a new contract on him. Also, wait a year. Doesn't his contract expire in like... Oh, I suppose it's only a year and a half. Wait, no. That's like two and a half years, isn't it? Uh, besides, they'll get a new contract on him at that point. We, we, I think our chances of signing this guy have gone now. Can you top that laser? Well, I'm going to be sat in this chair the whole time, Basil, if that counts. Well, apart from when I get up. So, I'll be sat in this chair, except when I'm not sat in this chair. So, who else was there on my, on my list then? Because there's definitely a few more guys on here that are definitely worth approaching. You, not so much anymore, which is a shame. So there's Milovanovic, who's a striker. But he is wanted by Juventus. Ruben Booty's better. Well, Booty's... I mean, he's actually a very good coach. I've just asked the board if they can give him an, uh, a coaching course, too. There's Milovanovic. He's wanted by Juventus. We could get him for 800k, potentially. Is he worth us just taking a punt on? Because why the hell not? Particularly if we were to lose anyone else. Another hot boiling tap. What can I say? It's what I'm here for, right? Oh, dear. You're in bed. Yeah, okay, fair enough. That's actually outdone me there. 11K. God, I just sell on. 
Well, he's got a 700k release clause. I mean, we have to, right? It seems inevitable. I suspect that we'll get stumped because Juve. So there's also this guy as well. Um, now, I can never remember how to, someone, someone told me how to pronounce his name. Wasn't it just Jonas rather than Jonas? So Jonas Dogar Schernat, he would be pretty good for the centre midfield. In fact, the more I look at him, does he have a contract demand now? He does. That scout report's relatively new. Oh, he might be a face in the game then, Emu. Potentially. That would explain it. Donuts. Oh, I'm thinking of a donuts too. I think it's because of the D there. I mean, surely he's worth going after, right? Release clause. I think we have to. Oh, see you later, Clip. Plus, we could call him Donuts. What's not to like? It's Donuts Cement. There was also one other guy. Norwegian light. Uh, light? Guy. Ola Klinger. 18-year-old at Bodder. The problem is, I wonder if he'd be too expensive. And is he actually worth it? He's got okay crossing and dribbling for 18. Losing if they're even close to 10 at 18. I'm like, okay, good. That, that's solid. Marking's not great. Position off the ball isn't great. Means blade. Ooh. Five foot... Oh, yeah, he's not the tallest, is he? He certainly wouldn't be... He's got okay tackling for 18. The question is, how much would he cost? Bad defense. I mean... Marking's 8. It can improve. He's only 18. Tackling of 11 is a good starting point. The reason I, I'm more interested in him is because... He won't be homegrown. No, true. But we've, we've got enough homegrowns at the moment that we can kind of open up a little bit. Thank God. Never believe in your side. <laughs> he would need a good centre-back next to him. To be fair, we do have those at the moment. I'm still like more... Yeah, I'm not like overly sold on him. Who else we got on this little listy here? Ah, now this is a guy I really do like. But as you can see from his scouting percentage, we don't know much about him just yet. But tell me if this doesn't look like it's going to be... A, he's going to be a good player. I've got him on the top of our priority list. But like... Something about this says that there's probably quite a good player under this. <laughs> like, he feels like there's someone right there. He's 21, obviously, so no homegrown. But, like, every single thing that is highlighted, really, other than his off the ball, kind of looks pretty good. And it's quite a low range as well. So, like, if it's 14, it's still good. If it's 15, it's even better. It's... I want to get him scouted properly, but I think there could be a player under here. Can't jump for shit. Well, he... yeah, he's 5 foot 10, actually, so it's surprising of that. Good and cheap. Yeah, I'd say so. Um... Vision work rate are low. It's good uh, you came in summer. In the work winter, rate isn't... It I would rather it be higher, but it's not the end of the world, I suppose. Rafa, thank you so much for the follow. We'll obviously get him scouted a bit more. He's the top of the list. I've done the thing where I've gone through the uh, youth national teams again. Um, not as many as before, but I have, like, stacked up some scouting reports. Uh, oh, Just need to know crossing. Less, as in, less important for an inside forward, but I still would like it to be good. Um, basically. I wonder if they fixed that thing where you could accidentally see the, um, not the potential. You know what I mean? The CA on that scouting screen. I hope they have. STI Harold, thank you very much for the 15 months. Hope you're well. So that's Wu Jong. Hang on. Wu Yong Yong. I'm sure that there's a differentiation between the Yong and the Jong. I'm guessing it's a slightly harder J. Wow. 100 caps, 103 caps dead on, in fact. At Freiburg. I assume, wow, he starts at, does he start at Freiburg? Yes, he does. He's just been consistent Bundesliga quality player. Who's after ED7? Oh, good shout. Yes, my bad. I'm so sorry. I forgot to show that. It's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, I'll, I'll show you. So, yeah, that's uh, Wu Yong Jong. He's just been a solid Bundesliga player. Uh, so, J League, they do. We've actually had two guys in the next gen from Kashima Antlers last year. So, what was I going to show you? Oh, yeah. So, slight problem. Firstly, is that Stoisa, uh, Sunisa Stoyanovic, as you can see, Milan have put a bid in bad news but the worst news is that um spurs and napoli are in for emmett now i've stalled them obviously i think we should be f okay to do the last the thing we did last year xbox it doesn't allow me and my mates into our save it's been like this for weeks now so uh, the, uh, like a network game um that makes me wonder if the server side stuff is a bit buggy but i've never played the xbox version so unfortunately i don't know is anyone else here more familiar with the with the xbox version maybe we can help when do you have to sign for the homegrown thing to work? Uh, before the age of... They have to be 18 upon joining, from what we can realise. So as long as they haven't turned 19 upon the date that they actually join the club, you're fine. Uh, Troy Parrot... Uh, no, Troy Parrot, I believe, plays for Galatasaray in this save. The Italian Spurs! 
Oh. Yeah. He must never leave. So we'll see how that one goes. I suspect we can do the influential player thing and we might be okay. I'm actually going to press an early continue because we've actually done a lot of business already. And I'm, most of the players I'm interested in are players we've already kind of got knowledge of. And the rest of those players, I think we'll actually find throughout the stream rather than what we normally do where we front load it. Because I don't think that's built up enough world knowledge for it to make any difference just yet. Oh, how much were they offering? Um, not a lot, but it was like three... Uh, hang on, I'll show you. Let me just move to the left. Like 1.7 million for Spurs. Max. That's with like clauses as well. Napoli were only offering 1.1 million, which is just not even close to Emmett Dora money. Like, isn't, he, isn't his value even higher than that? So it's even on the lower end of his value. It's, it, it's insulting. Yeah. So we're not going to be doing that. My hope is that the same thing we did last year, we can do again, whereby we do the whole... Oh, yeah. I signed a player called Alice because I found a player called Alice and five-star potential. So I, I thought, well, fuck it. Let, let's do it. Um, I've just never seen a player called Alice before. So now we know. That's kind of cool. From Lan on a free transfer again. Uh, right. He's dubious. Okay, what about you? Oh, he's, he's, he has doubts, but it's not dubious. It's, before, he wasn't talking to us at all, which means we have to do this. That, obviously, we can bin off. Oh. So this is a Wendy's in it. Right, we'll go after... Um, we'll get donuts first. Who the fuck is Alice? <laughs> oh, dear. Big drink time. He has doubts, but that seems like it should be okay. Although I'm worried that Valencia might pip us. Which is concerning me. But let's just try and get him done before Valencia notice anything. Please have decent respect. Huh? Can if you want. Oh, is he? All right. Phil. Apparently, neighbor's building a new planet again. Okay. So, star player. I'm going to try and get this off. But if we can't, that's fine. Okay. Oh, shit. Please, please, please. Oh, you fucking asshole. For God's sake, this guy. I'm not giving them that shit. I hate that crap. Oh, bring in a player to settle. Like, fuck off. You're an adult. <laughs> oh, dear. The original transfer budget technically was 10 million. Uh, but we're down to about three now, which is why this guy would have used a, a decent chunk of it. I don't think we're done with this, but I figured that at least if we could agree star player, it would have been fine. But I'm not doing these. Oh, you must. Like, that, I hate that. You must strengthen your midfield. Yes. That, my mate, is why we're signing you. You are the strengthening of the midfield. <laughs> Ivan, how's it going? Thank you for the 20 bloody months. That's insane. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Or welcome back aboard. Aiden as well with the five months too. How's it going? All the resubs today. You love to see it. Yeah, so that's disappointing. Um, now we could just wait again. Just brought it to what? Well, the thing is, I've just brought in an attacking midfielder. Who can play centre midfield? And I want this guy to be the second of those two. So I do find it extremely irksome when you're trying to bring in a player to strengthen the midfield and they require you to strengthen the midfield as part of them signing. It's like, that's what you're doing, you melon. It's just... Uh. But I know that the game's just throwing that in there randomly, of course, but it's very irritating that they won't let you take it out most of the time. Yes, Roth. Thank you so much for the follow. Pablo Zabaleta story. I don't need to hear that story. What is that story? That's disappointing. I was kind of hoping that as long as I gave him star player, he'd get rid of the other two. But I guess it's because he was so dubious. I don't think we're done yet. What are the new goalkeepers? Yeah, okay. I can understand it more if they wanted you to strengthen an area of the team that they don't fucking play in. But when you're signing a player to strengthen your midfield and they insist that you sent from the midfield. <laughs> like, what? Okay, so should we go after Milovanovic? Just to try and nick him from under the nose of Juve. Because we can, I would say. You can't get the Nougat thing to work. Uh, that is interesting because it should work fairly straight. I mean, I haven't actually used it for a couple of weeks. Well, actually, probably like a month, actually. But it should be okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. If he, if he was a goalkeeper you're bringing in, he's like, I want to strengthen your strike force. Totally get that. Like, still a bit dumb because it's like, let me do that. But still, it makes more sense. Yes, it's, it is. It's right up there with not being able to tell a player that they can't go on loan because you want them to play for you. Um, yeah, because the thing is, if you then signed a better player that strengthened the midfield, they wouldn't play. <laughs> Right, let's try this on him. Right. So I'll do the same thing with this guy. But this time I'll leave star player because we can adjust that. 
Oh, this is ridiculous. This wasn't happening before. Actually, wait, advance forward. He would play as an advance forward, so I can leave that. At least he wants us to strengthen the midfielders. Huh. I'm okay with that, because we'll get rid of the star player, obviously. Um, yes, we had that same thing happen to us. You know Hajib Noga? When he left, uh, we had a lot of players complain about... Oh, my goodness. Yes, Roth, straight in with the tier one. Thank you so much for the brand new sub. That's very kind of you. Welcome aboard. Ah, oh, hope you're well on this fine Tuesday. Um, so, yeah. When Hajim Noga started kicking up that fuss, we had the team leaders complain about me not selling him. It was the whole kind of... Uh, what was it? The, um... I don't remember. You know how it is when they complain when you won't sell a player. When he then left the club, because we did sell him, they then complained because I'd sold him. Standard. Oh, well, thank you so much. That's awesome. Welcome aboard. It's a slightly different vibe over here. Just, just a tiny bit. Yeah, apologies that there wasn't a video yesterday, Chato. Obviously, with me having to... I say having to. Taking the day off on my birthday, uh, there was no room to record a video, sadly. Probably fixed that a long time ago. Oh! Oh, yeah, that was, that was like... You mean the thing about... Uh, yeah, it's because basically back then, I think that was prior to when they fi found that cool filter that allowed you to focus on only regens. I think back then you kind of had to do it based on purely uh, ages, essentially. I'm getting a phone call from an unknown number. <laughs> Lol. Enjoy. I did, Obo. I did. It was nice. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We can always do the thingy anyway. Oh, God. Right. He's Serbian, which suggests he's probably going to get caps. Plus, this is what my assistant wants. Let me get rid of... No, let's get rid of it, but, like... Let's get rid of that. Get a relegation release clause of zero, because who cares? Uh, let's just see what, what he wants. Oh, you... My assistant's just fucked us there. Usually, your assistant massively lowballs them, so you kind of just have to accept it and see what they say in advance of that. But the assistant's actually gone and given him a reasonable contract, damn it. <laughs> I know. Imagine that. Taking a day off. Useless. You have the same birthday, Con. Yes! Up the March 7th. There's a lot of those about. What you need is a Matt Blake type player who, for those of you that, back in the early part of the save, we had a right back called, no, a left back called Matt Blake. He had one of those stupid clauses where you had to sign certain players. He wanted defensive midfielders. Every time we signed a player in any position, we'd get a news article saying, Matt Blake, happy that you're signing a new defensive midfielder. The man was just lovely. <laughs> It was great. Why can't everybody be like Matt Blake? Well, it looks like we're getting Dejan Milovanovic, unless Juve come and uh, steal him. Not perfect, but we move. I'm more interested in getting um, Mr. Donuts here. So what day is it? January 3rd. Hmm. I feel like we can still get this done, but it does concern me, though. Is there any way that we can, like, reset the clock on that stuff? But I don't think there is, is there? Oh, uh, Michael Dooley. Thank you so much for the follow. I must have missed that one. Uh, right, that's, that's that one sorted. North Korea, French Kiss, and oh, we're caught up. It's good. Everyone is a DM to Matt Blake, and I, I appreciate that. He's inclusive. He just wants everybody to be happy, and I'm with him. Hmm. Can you trial him? That's probably uh, the thing I was thinking, but I think it's very unlikely that they'd say yes. But it's worth a crack anyway, isn't it? Okay, so we'll do that, but I just I don't see it likely. Does the donut speak English? Yes, he does. Yes, you, you're right. We know that he does, because if you remember, we were unable to put a language course in for him when we tried to sign him the first time around, and that's why we were a bit confused at first. Right. Uh, I, almost I almost clicked on Harold Bishop Ultras then. Let's just carve it all down. And discuss I love how the shirt just doesn't change colour. It's already green. I want donuts too, yeah. Should have got some Krispy Kreme yesterday. That would be as long as they're happy being a DM. We're all happy being a DM. You sit at the base of the field, you slip the ball about. It's all good. It's a good time for everybody involved. Oh, that's nice. Oh, God. Well, it looks like we are moving. We might as well get your Harold Bishops ready now, Chato, because let's face it, I'm going to be going straight in from one to the other at this rate. I'll give you five seconds. <laughs> oh, my shirt's riding up. Okay. Right, Harold Bishops. Let's go. I'll give you five seconds. And a five, and a four, and a three, and a two, and a one. And, uh, well, Harold and Margot, take it away, love. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, fuck! 
goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. I feel like we could end up with putting that on like a piece of merch or something, right? That feels like something we can maybe have for the first merch. Just a t-shirt that just says the minute you get up tight, you're dead. <laughs> oh dear. I just going to send this for everybody. So I think we're kind of going to have to move on from him for the moment. We can come back to him. But did I have any more center mids on my list? I don't think I did. Actually, we'll look at my position. So there's Vegli, but he's just not as good, is he? And there's also Attila Deutsch, but he is not really a midfielder. The tackling would just be embarrassing at you know that level a train for me anyway. FM oh, yeah, Mark, very thank you for follow. Welcome aboard. He's a very strange sort of breakdown in attributes. I suspect we... Attila the Deutsch. <laughs> I think we're going to have to find a new one. But the one area of our team that definitely does need strengthening is that central midfield. Massively need to find some players there. Because at the moment, we're kind of just very lacking. We've got Gav. We've got Mihai. We've got Halcroft. We've got Chavera. We don't have Allen at the moment because Rangers are playing hardball on him. And, of course, I uh, might have to do it like that. <laughs> Let's face it. There's a lot of men called Allen. Uh, where is he? I thought his name was Jimmy Innie then. So where is Alan? Surely man's not... Man's not even in their first team. No, because well, what I mean is in addition to what we already have, because Gav's already technically in the squad, so I was thinking of him as already being here. FM time massive. Every cla exactly. you got to think of it as just... It's like a... It's a transitional period for you, Mark. That's all it is. The next club will come along and your superstardom will take place. Welcome aboard. Hope you're well. Uh, so let's let's try it. But they're doing the whole, they're reluctant to that kind of crap. And I tried offering his entire, well, well I think I tried offering most of, whoa, that's not what I want to bring. <laughs> I tried offering, I think, his entire wage and they weren't having it. Yeah. Now, it might come back. But for now, it's looking, imagine putting him in your under-21s. I'm going to shortlist him because I want to keep an eye on him. Oh, not trial him. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on him because if they're not going to put him in their team, then surely they'll want to loan him, right? Okay, we move. I want to get a report on um, that Serbian fella. So Alice will join us later. Reject. What? When did I do that? Mr. Progo with the gifted sub to FM Mark. Thank you so much, Mr. Brock. I hope you're well too. When did I do... I love it. That guy's actually rejected us. Oh, it was the trial. Of course it was. Yeah, sorry. It's the fact that it doesn't say trial. It's like, <laughs> that's confusing as hell. But yeah, you're right. That's what it was, wasn't it? Um, Yeah, we'll have to come back to him later. Oh, I hope we don't lose out on him. The skin, it is FM Rensi Dark. If you do exclamation mark skin, you'll get a download link for it. Uh, I don't know who that is. When did we trial him? That was new to me. Got injured in training the next day. It's karma. Uh, I just got an achievement called part of the furniture. Is that for 10 years at the club? I suspect it is, right? Oh, yeah. Narvej is going to Ibiza. Don't know if he's playing football or anything. It must be the Hong Kong players. But Mike, Mike, or Mike, surely isn't one of those, right? When did I trial him? Was it right before stream? Can't have been. I just sat on the same. All right. Well, regardless, goalkeeper. <laughs> Fair one. I'll take that. Xbox version. I have not. No, I've never. I don't own an Xbox. Um, and I've never played um the FM, the Xbox version of FM either. Ibiza signed six. Wow, they are pumping them out. Could look at the wages they're giving these guys. Ibiza's rolling in it apparently. Rig and booty to stu study. For some qualifications. Excellent news. To be fair, the booty man is actually very good as it is. Also, one thing I did notice. Tends to select domestic players for national team. The fuck's he been in charge of a national team, Regan? I mean, I admire the ambition, but not sure that really applies here. So the drug money could be. Oh, we know what's about to happen. So we're going to lose out on him as well. Oh, we're not having a good time here, are we? Isn't interested in speaking. Well, tough. <laughs> Off you go. Played a lot of effort. Maybe. So loads of new contracts for staff members. Standard stuff. Why doesn't it just put it in one news article? <laughs> like, I guess they all agreed at slightly different times, but Jesus. The Nigeria job. You won AFCON. Sick. Well done. 
I never even got a chance to do that when we were managing in Africa. Not that we were trying to, but it would have been nice to get at least a little bit further in the African Champions League. We didn't have the best luck in that. Oh, here we go. Right. Fun times. Both Inter and Milan. Oh, it's a different... Right. Look at that. For that fucking price. Literally, lower than the lowest end of his value. Why the hell would I sell him for that? I'm concerned, though. I'm very concerned. We knew we had a cracking player on our hands there, and I'm worried that we might not be able to... Oh, here we go. Right, so now comes the part where um we have to try to keep Emmett Doran. I think the play is we run the same program as last year, where if he complains, which he will because unsettled, most of the time... I have seen players not complain, but he complained last year. We have to pull the old, you're an influential member of the club option. That's usually... This I find is useless. I've never once seen this help me in any way. Or either of them, that is. So, we turn them down. And hope for the best. Gav joins in July. Yeah. Maybe. We'll have to wait until the third anyway, until we can put another bid in for him anyway. But I would be willing to do that. Provide... But then he might... The problem you get, Hibos, though, is I believe the promise sometimes only lasts for the existing transfer window you're currently in. The good thing is, though, Gav is at least on loan with signing afterwards, whereas Leicester Band wouldn't come back on loan. So that's the, the good thing. We've actually got Gavin until he joins as well. Right. Standard. Uh, okay. So it's Spurs he's complaining about. He's a leader in the squad. Consider the impact of the squad. So first thing we'll do, we'll ask Tom Howcroft, because why wouldn't we, obviously, at this point? He's not going to do anything, but... He said and was wrong? Tom Howcroft! I don't need to do anything. I am completely... It's... It's... I... I don't need to be here, chat. Tom Howcroft is the new manager. Just gonna... Chill. This... This is... Ridiculous. Obo, thank you for the gift. sub to Hungry Heroes as well. That's very nice of you. Emmett is. To be fair, Emmett doesn't usually need a lot of convincing. I thought I was gonna... Uh, basically, I think that had we got to the point of having to do the influential player thing, it would have been fine. Do you know what, chat? You're right. I think that does deserve an ED7, honestly. We did it last year. Unhappy again in three days. That only happens with squad status disputes, as far as I know. Well, the thing is, Emmett's actually quite a good crowbar himself, but mm, I couldn't really ask him to ask himself to stay. Right, okay, let's do an ED7. We got him, right? For him staying again. We haven't actually played it yet, Owen. Uh, we've been doing a lot of... Tra we've basically been getting duped on transfers for the past hour. <laughs> That's essentially what's happened. Right, get your ED7s ready, Chateau. I'll give you five seconds, as always. A five, and a four, and a three, and a two, and a one, and an ED7. Let's go. beer <laughs> you know sometimes i wish it was but no it's just water <laughs> oh why not ask Emmett to talk to edge to be fair i wouldn't be surprised if fm had that functionality honestly hey man like bees you gotta be careful don't want to get stung although honey honey is good and that's all of my bee references done how's it going welcome aboard uh so that's good doran's fine so that's one of the two troublemakers i say troublemakers Emmett's not a troublemaker Emmett's the kind of guy oh, this is who my car he wants to leave for the betterment of his career, but not if it's going to inconvenience you, right? That He's the type of guy that holds the door open for everybody, even if he stands in the rain whilst, like, 30 people come parading through. He's just a good... He's good people, right? Man like bees, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, so now we just have to sort out Stoyanovich. Silent Hawk with the 18 months. I nearly pressed a random button then. Ah. Emmett Doran, what a man. What a way to celebrate a year and a half. You love to bloody see it. Hope you're well, Silent Hawk. Oh, Mr. Progger with the gift is up to man like bees as well. Thank you so much. A pushover. No, not a pushover. He's a nice, he's a nice, genuine dude. You know, that's what you like to see. Oh, that, this is good. So now we just have to sort out Stoyanovich. Hopefully, we could get either Emmett or Tommy to sort him out. Emmett would be like, look, I stayed. I'm buying into the project. You get yourself knuckled down, Sunisa, you know? Uh, ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have maybe gone and had a little look at Africa again. And, uh, well, uh, <laughs> there's some quality players knocking about. I'll leave it with that. Uh, ice 22. 
But I want to make sure I stay on top of this because there's definitely some quality here. And I think we might be able to snap up a couple of bargains. Although there's also a lot of crap. But that's fine. We're used to that. Hopefully I can discard these. Yes. Good news. I love being able to discard players this year. It seems to have stopped doing that thing where it wouldn't let me discard players. Don't know why, but there you go. Holland and Barrett. Sorry. Sorry. 180 pound for honey no i realize it's probably got some specialness to it right but unless the bees come around and suck you off it's not worth 180 pound i draw the line somewhere chato right what's so special about it unless it is the thing i said in which case fair enough crack on holland and barrett you do you babes that's an extraordinary amount is it just them upping the price on things because it sounds fancy is genuine manuka honey oh good what's that that penny deal though. <laughs> good lord hey oh they've actually put the bid in okay that's fine we'll do that i did extend most of the contracts that i was super interested in straight off the bat i'll revisit some of these later in the year but most of the main guys have contract extensions uh there was a couple of key ones who i have now forgotten let me just check uh be right to the very far end won't it so it was Bayrak, I gave an extension to. Galvin, obviously, best player at the club, gave an extension to. Uh, Mura, I think I extended as well. Oh, and Millie. I gave Millie a new contract as well, because obviously Millie needs a new contract. But even so, I'm Bart as well. Even so, our highest paid player is still Bart, and he's only on 12k a week. When you look at the sort of prices that we could... These players could be earning 50 grand at other clubs right now. And I'm kind of glad they're not, because we can't afford that. Sick. Oh, well, you don't want that. I mean, Daz might. If anything, I think he'd be very interested in that. After that performance at the weekend, ooh, I have a Tony hat trick. Disappointed. <laughs> Got stolen all the time. Really? It's travel from New Zealand to be fair. Ah, oh, fair one. Unless the bees themselves have flown it over, I still don't think it's worth 180 quid. Like, I could just. There's a great honey farm in Devon. It's called... It used to be called Quince's Honey Farm. Really cool place. Lots of bees. I like bees. What can I say? I'm a fan of them. Not Brentford. I should possess. I should be very specific. The animal, not the not the Brentford. Far too heavily and Yeah, I suppose. But maybe it would improve endowment because of swelling. So maybe there's like an old wivesy way of... I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Jack, we've never looked him up actually. Was he at Juve or something? Yes, he was. Because I think he played against us, didn't he? A couple of seasons ago in the Champions League. Having seen it... Hey, balls in the net, right? Admittedly, two penalties. Second yellow apiarist. Yes. It's not even honey you eat. Well, depends. Yeah, see, you haven't seen how I do it, Sheeny. I just take a full-on bite out of the hive. Is it the nectar, or am I just being an idiot? I'll be honest with you. I spent most of the time looking at the bees rather than listening to the information about the bees. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get three-star rep. I, I know for a fact we will because other people that are doing the same save have got three-star rep. The consensus seems to be that they got it around about 2034 based on certain progression points. I think we're on the same track. Maybe a tiny bit ahead? Maybe. So we'll see. 47 million. Look at this. He played six Premier League games in his first season at City after signing for £100 million. Pounds. Holy shit. David, thank you for the three gifted subs. That's very, very kind of you continuing oh the pay it forward thing of course thank you so much you can get grillish on a free can you imagine if it just randomly said he's 35 what's his physicals like he's got very good natural fitness in fairness he used to heal wounds oh right i thought you meant just honey in general she i'd probably just use a bandage honestly but honey hey whatever floats your boat if it's honey crack on it's quite viscous, so it would help you stay afloat, I suspect. Or would you sink into it more? Good question. Well, not good question. A question. <laughs> it is a question. That's the best we can say. Uh, right. Okay. Would need some convincing, but it's not the same as unsettled. That's my only... Or is that worse than unsettled? I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Please, though. Sonny said, don't, don't do this to me. Okay, Tommy Howcroft, can you do it again? Can you crowbar another sweet... Oh, Tom Howcroft! <laughs> oh, 
My sweet little man. He just keeps doing it. Okay. Where did this come from? Is it because he's captain? No, he's not captain, though, is he? But he is a team leader now, maybe. He wasn't before. Yeah, he's vice captain and a team leader. Hey, Kulo! Thank you so much for the six months. Cool, Tommy. Oh, how Croft. This is... Very good. They start playing. I mean, we're playing him every chance we get. Tommy Hal Crowbar, indeed. Ken or a Hal Croft. So, yeah, I think it's because I appointed him vice captain. He's been here longer and thus has increased his rating in the squad. So, Bart, Hal Croft, and Doran, I've now seen all of them get people to stay. But it really does appear, appear as though Hal Croft is the guy. What's his, like, leadership? It's only 14. I always wonder what causes him to be so good because Ken or Antonson isn't actually that good, but he is. It's just weird. Oh, to be honest, I spent, I've rejected so many bids for Roy Galvin in this save. I don't even bother telling you lot anymore. I just do it because I'm just like, they know that I'm going to reject the bids. He's the best player in the club. How could we play? No, no, he's not. He's, um, he starts at, um, uh, hang on, I'll show you. Uh, Circuset. Thank you, so, thank, you so, thank you. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're well. So, no, he starts at Geisley. We picked him up a few years ago on a free transfer and he started off okay and then kind of faded a bit. We were worried that his career was maybe not going to be quite as good with us. And then he just started bouncing back over the last couple of seasons. I tend not to, but you know what? If someone could do with it, Tom could probably do with a leadership course because all we could do is surely just make him a better crowbar. I really wanted to get that Ireland call up. He is Irish now. He's been looked at by the Ireland manager. I don't know. I think this year he might get one. But he also might get less game time because of Alaku not being here. Then again, we've lost Alan. So he's still going to have the... This is why we need another midfielder, basically. Oh, there he is again. Look, it's Thighs Freeze. We'll just try that again. See if they want 17 million again. Yeah, I don't understand why they've suddenly started asking for 17 million when nothing's changed, including contracts. That's bizarre to me. But point is, we ain't paying it. It's Nick... Oh, I thought that was Nicholas Oliver at Fulham. I was 24, though. Apparently. This is a lie. Yeah, I just have auto-reject on everything. It's Daniel O'Donnell. Okay. Fairly certain. That, isn't Daniel O'Donnell like a singer that your auntie would like? Am I right about that? Millie with the 15 months. Oh, this is a long one. Jack Grealish in summer 2031. You know what? I've had a great career being wasted by City. It's time to take things easier. I know. I love a Guinness. I'll give Tritty a ring and enjoy in them for a couple of grand a week. That's the dream, Millie. But he just won't do it. He can't accept his fate. Damn it. <laughs> Tazia, thank you for the 13 months as well. Hope you're well. Uh, best Icelandic player. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can figure out why mums go there. Well, the best... Oh, the best young player, I was going to say. Because the best player is probably... Um, where has he gone? Isaac Bergman Johannesson. Although, actually... Yeah, he probably is. Hoffenheim. When you look at the rest of the... Oh, there's a guy at Wolfsburg as well. Albert Guthmanson. Best young player. Wow, they don't have any... Wow, they really don't have much young talent, do they? Their youngest player in their national team is 25 years old. And it's Benoni Brecki Andresen, who I'm fairly certain we might have had on... No, we might... I think we tried to get this guy at one point when we were affiliates with Bologna. I don't think we actually got him in the end, but I think we tried to. Because I remember the, the first name. I don't know who to scout. Let's see if there's any... Aha! Well, I think I'm already scouting these guys, right? Well, I'm not. They must be new. Yeah, they might be new to this. Okay, cool. So they have got a few new... There's a guy at Sparta Rotterdam here. Sigurdur Thor Christensen. Good first touch. Finishing looks... He's... Oh, he's an attacking mid, though. He might be decent. Yeah, Jackie O'Grealish. It's fine. He just needs to learn this, and then he'll be fine. Yeah, so Daniel O'Donnell there. He's a bit much, isn't he? But I kind of want to see where it goes. You, though. Sergio Pintone. Or Pinton. Hmm. 19... Does have that five-star potential. Maybe shortlist him for now. Go back in. Valgir is obviously excellent too. Yeah. I don't know where he's... Oh, see, these are the kind of players I want to be able to try to find. Although, he is not a wingback. He's, he's a winger. Uh, great physicals. 
but they won't they won't talk to us yet but it's definitely they're weakening they're softening to us at the moment there's also this guy benjamin mill uh mihai he's a bit more like it he is a bit more like it look at him other than he's off the ball which admittedly is gash but six million quid and we've just signed another left back so and he's on loan from zagreb if he was at locomotiva we could get him really cheap but because he's from zagreb no chance there's also this guy socrates oh hang on we were looking at center backs please be good please be tall and strong tall terrible aerial though and he's good tackling good positioning as well the thing that he would struggle with he has no bravery and no heading the one thing i would say about him is maybe if you got him cheap enough you could put him on aerial training and it would train both his heading and his bravery so maybe that is very his hair is very suave isn't it alex oh i don't know if i'm gonna be able to write this in let me try Hauksen because i don't have the the letter on my keyboard for that oh god damn it does he start in the second tier, Icarus, maybe, by any chance? Because if so, he might not be on my save. Uh, Alex. Let's see if I can do Alex. What the hell? Yeah, there's a slash in it, Matt. Am I spelling that right? Hmm. I don't think he's in my save for some reason. I think that, oh, yeah. So that's weird. You think that he would be in there then? That is strange. I'll refund your points for that. Yeah, he's only missed the mustache. Um, I think we'll just keep scouting him for now. I mean, we already are, actually, as it goes, so that's fine. Uh, ooh, oh, and once again, cool-ish players that I would love to just start harvesting up, but again, they won't talk to us. Learn Irish before arriving. That would be perfect. No one else speaks it when he tries to talk to them, but he's still trying, bless him. Sammy McKengo. Okay, intriguing more work required on you but still he has no asking price at all that's weird couple more oh you're already fully scouted i think we'll just end up finding better players doing this type of scouting today so there's herman us good old herman cheese um i mean he's actually got quite good wait was he willing to talk to us or is he one of those randos that work oh he will Lucas Bosman. Ooh. More information required. Let's just have a look at what he's like now. Yeah, we need more information on him, but he is 18 as well. In fact, let me just uh, acknowledge these guys. That way we can get them out of the way. Ooh, a guy at Sassuolo. Carlo Gistozzi. Right foot. Decent. Mercenary personality, though. Os means us. I know. I just always... Every time I see the word os, I just assume cheese just because I find it funny. Um... It's like that team in the Netherlands, Top Oss. I always just call them Top Cheese. Uh, hmm. I kind of like Herman Us though, too. He's three people. Hmm. Shortlist, I think. The problem is, what would we do with him? He's kind of... He is fairly... He's got good acceleration. Good right foot as well. Paolo as well with the seven months. How's it? Oh, God, this was seven's coming up. More Which than half year over the world of soccer stream. Oh, how time flies. Up the body, 77,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,
Very good stuff, in fact. Oh, yeah, I know Ost is cheese. That's why I just, every time I see a word that even looks like that, I just like to think that it's cheese. Go always try. Yeah, but is it even worth it? Depends how much money he wants, actually. Fringe player. Uh, English. Yeah, that's fine. Estimated wage, £550 to £775. 5k a week. <laughs> to be fair, they were only off by a factor of 10. <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. <laughs> yeah, nearly. Nearly there. Uh, probably not going to pay you that. <laughs> Thanks for playing. I mean, I know he's not fully scouted, but for the love of God. Like, how can they be so far off on his wage demands? I can understand being a little bit off, but by a factor of 10? No. That's absurd. Uh, uh, we're already scouting him, but it won't matter. Levante Horvath. We've looked at him a few times, haven't we? Ah. PSG. Now, he wouldn't talk to us before, and it's annoying that he now will. Too late now, of course. Mason Stokes, who's English and plays for Lafse. With a very blurry picture there. How much is he listed for? Presumably 3.1 million, which is way too much. Albert Ettinger. Okay. Interesting Portuguese name there. Mason Stokes and the rest of these guys, I think, are not deletable, but they are... Oh, hang on. Jack York. Irishman at heart. Tommy Hopkins. I'm still very curious about that other guy. That Serbian lad. Yeah, the rest of these guys. Oh, some Djiboutians in there. Oh, I can actually discard. Lovely. What's a th Yeah, exactly. What's a factor of 10 between friends? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what he wants per minute. That was Dundee. I thought we were about to get sacked then. Uh, no, thank you, Dundee United. Off you go. Try someone else. Have you considered taking Troy Deeney, for example? I hear he's still out of work. I assume. Yeah, trio. That's, that's what I meant to type in. Words are hard. Words are hard. I've also written Troy Dennett, so we'll get them in the end. I've also written Troy Denny. Is my keyboard broken or am I... Have I spelled Troy Denny wrong or is he just retired now? Oh, I think I've just failed my own lookup. That is how you spell Troy Denny, right? Scamrock Rovers left such a scar on him that he's retired from football entirely. Don't blame him, to be honest. Having seen what he did to them. Maybe we already... I think maybe we already looked him up, actually, didn't we? Shelby want Darren Brown. Oh, wait. Oh, no, God, no. That's a permanent deal. We're keeping Darren. Couldn't even cut it in Ireland. It's tough out, it's tough out there, right? I just want to make sure that that guy is actually still top of our assignments. Yes, he is. Okay, cool. Not that that's helping it's us in any way, but I just want to know because he feels like someone I could get. Nick Knights, thank you so much for the follow. So the PSG game is not even that far away. We're definitely going to get that done today. I think we could get quite a bit done today because a lot of the transfers... Annoying. Uh, yeah, we, we've... I figured that would happen. That's annoying though. So we've actually managed to lose out on every single transfer we've tried to go for so far today. So that's gone well. Do not hate Liam Steele. Oh, wait, hang on. Liam Steele. Thank you for following. Nick Knight loves days. Maybe. Maybe. It, maybe it's the night where Nick Knight is. You just never know. Ooh. Antonello Serafino. Cool name. Chingis Hashkin. 19 million quid. Good God. That's an insane, like, value on a player that's 18 years old already. Or only. That's nuts. Oh, yeah, no, it's alt codes. I just... I, oh, I do actually have an unpad, in fairness. Turkish tax. Yeah, but we've got some pre fairly cheap Turkish talent in the past. Just not him, apparently. Good God. I wonder why they're so expensive. This is looking intriguing, though. None of them will talk to us annoyingly. Um... But I guess the fact that they exist is good, I suppose. Are we losing rep? Maybe it's just we don't have them scouted as much. Right, okay, I think I can... We'll get through a lot of this now. If they'll let me actually... Yeah, if that, the fact that they're letting me discard the scout reports is really useful because it's going to make our scouts life. They'll get through those reports so much quicker when you can, res when you can um, discard them. Because the problem when I had that issue where I couldn't discard players from those reports meant that they would bring me the same player in the report like four times in a row and it would stop them from working on new things. Our Turks come through in Germany. The one I think that I would say is different to that is Tunchel, right? 
I'm fairly certain we signed it from a Turkish side. In fact, I think we actually only have one Turk as it goes. Uh, Shafik Tunshel. Yeah, he came from Fenerbahce. 1.3 million pounds. I mean, admittedly, he has not turned out fantastic, so maybe they knew something. Maybe if he was a good Turkish player, Fenerbahce would have wanted 20 million pounds. I think they certainly got the better end of that deal, potentially. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Moses is at the uh, Af he's at AFCON this month as well. So it worked. I think I know why I got this guy. I think I wanted him so that the other Irish sides would pick him up. And it looks like that's exactly what's about to happen. Lovely stuff. The trial thing is really powerful this year, it seems. Afrin Peachy. 12 million. 62. Mm. I love that that's even a demand that we would somehow be. A he's, he's willing to join us, but he will want 62 grand a week. Probably not for us then. Denali. Okay. Not Denali. Benali. Denali's a mountain map. A Salhi. We had a tally at the last side. Bigger and Siala. Okay. Oh, Barcelona have got a young Cameroonian as well. Ger oh, I thought it was a Gerald Kamara. Cheap release. Ooh. Ah, he's a midfielder. Okay. Scouting definitely required. Oscar Clancy is a cool name as well. Probably a bit too much for us, though. Most of these guys. Let's just see anyone. I'm going to always scroll just in case someone else randomly comes up lower down the list. I've got it filtered in a way that that shouldn't happen, but, you know. There are no staff. Did you tick? The, the, isn't there a button you sometimes have to tick? There shouldn't. You shouldn't need to, though, because they should already have that, right? You only normally have to tick the add staff to clubs because they don't already have them. So you're creating clubs. Isn't registered. Oh, is it because... Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing a name fix could do about that, is there? I had to put in the name fix the other day because I was doing some prep stuff for Red Zone and I had to um, reload the name fixes because, of course, I haven't had them, haven't had to do that for ages. Uh oh, Pog's got a question. Actually, while Pog has that question, I'm going to go for a pee. So I'll be back in a second, friendos. This isn't where I park my car. Tell you what, chat. My favourite accent is that one that man tried to do in that episode of Castle where he was clearly an American actor that had been told to do a Geordie accent, but in a way that was completely indecipherable by every other human being. I'd say that's probably my favourite accent. That, that's got to be it, right? Mad scientist German. Hey, cheese cow. Oh, right. Uh, I guess... Oh, I forgot we haven't done that, have we? Right, Priestess... Oh, good. Hey, dude. That's the one. That's, that is the accent. The prime accent. Or when people accidentally slip into an accent that clearly is not the one they were supposed to. When you catch them by surprise. Jackson Poroso, a real half. 
Ecuadorian, nice. No nonsense. I don't know, you could pass a little bit. But I think they're doing a bit of disservice with that, to be honest. No, how dare you. You never learn, do you, chat? You never learn. Uh, it's, it's that home counties vibes is what it is. It's what I've been rocking with. I think. It's kind of like home counties vibe with a tiny essex -y twang in the end of it. With certain words. And a little bit of stuff from Pog's brumminess. Joey Barton's French accent. Precisely. Yep. Oh. Ends up some sort of bar size. Yeah, exactly. It's perfect. Professor's... Right, yeah. So this is the thing. This happened to me several times. Where if I was caught by surprise while talking to someone with a very thick accent, sometimes I would speak back to them in a very similar... So, for example, there was a, an Italian teacher at our school um, who was actually... A, she was weirdly... She was a Latin teacher, but she was an Italian Latin teacher. <laughs> and um, I would... She randomly, like came around the corner in the hall and started asking us questions one time and I just responded in like this Italian accent because it just caught me so off guard. The only other time that's happened to me was when I bumped into a Malaysian touring car driver and the same thing happened. <laughs> because reasons. Uh, <laughs> it is funny when you see accents in shows that completely slip off. Em and I watched an episode of Fringe the other day and um, there was a person who was supposed to be Irish and you could tell that they very much weren't Irish because of certain words. They would say, can you do Scottish? Well, I could, do, I could do every accent badly. Well, actually, no. Some of them I can't even... To be fair, every accent... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right, so we've done Perozo. She was Irish. She was doing a British accent. That's what it was. Sorry, yes. She was supposed to be, like, doing an English accent, but I could tell she was Irish because of certain words. Uh, right, so this meeting is always good, isn't it? I'm not the smoking in the toilets. <laughs> How dare you? I was a good boy at school. I didn't smoke until I was out of school. <laughs> then I was an idiot. Uh, good lord, our squad is enormous. I wonder how many players you could have in your squad. I want to I wanna just fill this screen. Do you reckon that if we did this at the right time, we could bring all the loanies back and just fill this screen up entirely with players? So it just looks like a who's, like a guess who board. Uh, right. Okay, we win the title, right? Brilliant. Uh, I guess we'll win that. They don't care, but I've got to tell them we'll win it. Otherwise, they'll be disappointed. Don't want to make any promises. That's fine. Code of conduct. We love it. Yeah, pleased. Okay, very pleased, in fact. John Cena's Chinese <laughs> Oh, dear. It was good, Maris. We had a nice birthday. It was just a nice time to relax a little bit, you know? And then I got to come to do this, which is always nice and fun. Uh, yeah, we should be able to stall that one too. They're after him now, but we don't have to worry. Because he said he's going to stay. I think those were the only two I was worried about losing. So, we should actually be able to keep most of the squad that we want this time around, which is awesome. One thing I was thinking about is I do wonder... Sarah Millican's accent is... I like the Geordie accent. Tell you what, chat. For those of you that have seen the movie Goal, right? Anna Friel's Geordie accent in Goal... Just, it just does something to me on a visceral level. I, do you know what I mean? It's just... Just... I want her to call me pet, you know? <laughs> And not say I'll feed the same. It's very, not even strangely, it's very, very. Yes, bring in our resident linguist, Inferno. He's going to linguist the hell out of us. Call me pet and I'm yours, exactly. Uh, I thought his name was Kanye White then for a second. That would have been a brilliant name. Oh, and he won't talk to God damn it, there's so many good, look at the price. Oh, I can't wait to be able to get these guys. Although PSV man here, Helder Victoriano. He's intriguing. Left foot, annoyingly. 19, though, annoyingly. He's the kind of player that I think if he was an 18, then we could... Oh, my God. Podolski's left peg. Thank you for the 10... Yeah, he is, though, actually. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Holy shit. Thank you very much, Podolski. Good God. Hope you're well. H -H 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 -B -B -B. It's weird saying that about yourself. That's not... I'm not allowed to do that, am I? Someone else has to do. You've done it for me. That's fine. Thank you. Let's get some presents. Thank you so much. You've just been gifted a sub by Podolsky's left peg. That did come in very quick, didn't it? It Usually it's like, it was just like, bam, 10. The Stoke accent. Oh, duck. Right. Okay. I'm glad that that's not just a thing, because basically my grandparents always used to refer to me and my sister as duck. Or just any kind of person, really, as a term of affection. So it's not just a Stoke thing. Uh, it's like an Essex thing as well in certain parts of Essex. But yeah, I was always known as Duck. 
as well by my grand. Maybe it's just like a generational thing, perhaps. Or duck or ducky as well. Yeah, I think he's probably not quite right for us. So in German? All oh, right, well, fine. Germans, you're in. Hey, up me, duck. Yeah, exactly. Was it really duck? It really was duck, yeah. Do you have beat at PSG yet? No, and we're not going to, are we? <laughs> Let's face it. <laughs> uh, David Dede, which is a super name. Uh, I'll keep scouting him, but I, I'm, I'm unsure if there's much we can do with that. You, again, with the NA. It seems like South Africa is the only country we can sign players from, from Africa at the moment. Steve McManaman is one of the... Oh, yes. M Hang on. McManaman. McManaman? That could work. <laughs> oh, Sprinkle bread on the floor. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> You've been spying on me again? Uh, oh, Ugandan. But as usual, none of them are interested. Sad times. There's even a decent Lesotan player and he's... Oh, come on. Titty Barry! You... Well then, uh, chat, I would like to introduce you to Nonso Williams. <laughs> Nonso Williams. Um, oh, what, you mean? <laughs> what, so you think his actual name is supposed to be... Like that. <laughs> Nonso Williams. He's only 17 as well. Good God. There was I laughing at Titty Barry. <laughs> And then I've seen Nonso Williams. Also, there's Mohamed Salah. No, mum, we've got Mohamed Salah at home. Mohamed Salah at home. Uh. Goddamn. I didn't know that was a first name that was in the game. Rep now, no, we're still two stars. I love it. Uh, sorry, two and a half stars. We had, um, if you look in here, where is it? Ask to leave. Wants a new deal to reflect his ability. Asking to leave. Man oh, literally doesn't have a contract. He can leave at any time he wants. And yeah, he chooses to be here. He just wants to complain, Gerard. Oh, dear. Cameron, thank you very much for the follow. I just love it. A player wants to leave and it's like, you have no... There is nothing stopping you from leaving, sir. Like, I could release him right now and he'd probably be happy. Then again, I probably should, honestly, shouldn't I? Because it's probably affecting the squad dynamics. Set for release? Set for release when? Bye, Gerard. You've got your wish, sir. I aim to please. Has now officially been released. Is he happy now? Happy now? He actually has some okay mentals, but... And he did all right against, uh, on loan at Bray, but he refused to go back on loan to them. So I was like, no, you're not getting a new contract then. No new contract for you if you don't want to go on loan. It's the rules. Check if he hates me now. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Probably not. Very few people hate me. In the game. No, would prefer not to play for Treaty. Appreciates my position. His name is Agent P. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, ooh. oh, that's that ridiculously good Russian centre back who's. Wow, he's taken a huge step up there. Yeah, can, we can no longer afford him either. Chris Nath. What a name. 19, though. <gasps> oh! Oh, 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 oh. It's the next gen guy. Ryotaro Akasaka. Yeah, PSG game uh, later in the month, I think. Maybe at the start of February, I suspect. But let's face it, we're going to get battered. Model set. Yeah, he is. No jumping reach. Um, but he is next gen. This guy was on the next gen list. I wonder how much we could actually expect to pay. Wait, what? Wait, I swear it had a. Oh, he didn't have an asking price. I always get that bit confused. Never mind. Oh, dear. Right. <laughs> I guess we're excited every time. Look at another one. Another great set of players potentially there. But once again, won't talk to... This random guy from Leuven won't talk to us. I really want to sign a Japanese player. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, at least his crossing isn't too bad. I, I still think there's a player here. But once again, I want to make sure that we get him on the top of the scouting list before I forget. F1's version of Football Manager. Uh, I haven't. Um... 
I, I mean, I'd like to... I'd hope it'd be better than Motorsport Manager, which I actually thought was really good. But if it's not, then I don't know. I always worry when... The, I just worry about games like that. I hope that they're going to be good, but I also worry that there's potential... There's a lot of potential for cash grabbery, I suppose, with stuff like that, where they'll just slap a, a name on it, be like, hey, look, F1 management game, and then not put any effort into it. Is it called Motorsport Manager 2022? Wait, hang on. Am I thinking of something else now? Oh, now I'm excited. Even this got an amateur deal. F1 manager, yeah, but what what I mean is, my question is, is it just going to be like a cash grab based on like the, the licensing of the name and actually have nothing underneath it? Because there's a lot of, like it would have to me, it would have to improve on what Motorsport Manager has already done. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. Is it really? Okay, now you've now you've hooked me. If it's made by, um, oh God, what? Is it Frontier? Frontier Games? Is that the name of the company? Stinger! Raining with the party of 28. How is it going? How's things at Messina? Welcome in, everybody. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we just found a player whose name is Nonso Williams. So I thought I'd just leave that with you there. Beyond Ultra Gaming, thank you very much for the follow. It's been made by Codemasters. Wait, so which is it? Codemasters or Frontier? Because those are two very different companies, one of which I trust a lot more than the other. Scandal, thank you very much for the follow. Jake Wardrow. It's another left back. Why do you always have to be left backs? Oh, Brazilian. No. Not, not happening. Frontier. So it's Frontier. Okay. Randy, yeah, Randy the Young. It's a good name, isn't it? It's a shame that he's... Actually, he's still only 18. Uh... He's one of those players that's kind of just... There. If it's made by Frontier, I am intrigued, honestly. Design aspect, not the management aspect. Yes, you're right. Because they are very much almost sandboxy, right? It's half done by. Oh, I mean, yeah, I think it's hard not to say that, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really change anything, does it? I'm still looking forward to it. Oh, because Drive to Survive. That's Is that Friday that comes out? Oh, excite. I am excite. Work rate's reasonably suitable for a guy. <laughs> True. And teamwork. Man loves a menage a trois. Good natural fitness, too. Um, I guess we... I'll shortlist him, but I don't know if he's really for us. Seven million pounds as well. Actually, what am I even talking about? There's no way we're getting him. Oh, that's not happening, is it? On every console in existence. Ah, I always... That's the thing. I always worry that if they're designing it with console in mind, they take too much of that into the PC version. The one thing I like about the fact that the way FM have ported their games to console is that they've not, from what I can work out, dumbed down the PC version in order to make that happen. There's only... There's been a few little graphical changes because I actually asked Miles about this a couple of years ago as to whether they were going to be changing the UI with console versions in mind and what he basically said was that to an extent but not such in a way that would ex affect the experience of the pc player which is exactly how i would like to see these things done oh wait he opted out really Stella club is a great team it is isn't it large fm touch yeah uh yeah gt well gta got the they did a remastered version of gta lately if you recall uh, was it called like the definitive collection and it was absolute dog shit uh not that as far as i know it wasn't actually done in-house it was outsourced to a, a different a third party studio if i recall also gta 6 that's a thing isn't it that's actually like happening oh there's been an entire console generation that didn't have a gta game and it's just it makes me sad you know worse than some fan-made projects legit oh some of the fan-made projects that are out there though are actually fantastic yeah, no, Rockstar put out a tweet a couple of weeks ago, didn't they? Uh, acknowledging that GTA 6 was in development. 14 nil. That's good. We'll take that. Banks, I love the name Banks OD. Superb. They they did approve it. And to be fair, that is still on them at the end of the day because they should still have the final sign-off on quality control. And they clearly, but to be fair, they don't have the best reputation over the past few years about... They, they're weird. Like, on the one hand, they make absolutely fantastic games. Like, Red Dead Redemption 2. But... On the other hand, you've got the sort of cash grabby side of the company. I suppose it's different divisions, isn't it, really? I feel like there's a lot of devs there that really do care. ED6, yeah. <laughs> He's losing his touch. GTA 3 was for PS3. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was, wasn't it? What can they put? Well, I suppose it's more about story, isn't it? Brand new story. Lots of stuff. Vice City was probably... Actually, yeah, chat. If you are a, familiar, if you are a GTA player. Favorite GTA game. Because for me, Vice City is the one for me. 
that's the that is a vibe and a half i played so much um oh right okay so have they like lost access to certain stuff then uh, Cooper, it's awful i loved it me. i say loved I it i'm still playing it Bugsy, thank you for the follow vice city for me the soundtrack alone for vice city was superb just, oh, this isn't where I park my car. I, I, we've all done it. We would just drive around and listen to the radio because there were so many good stations in it. Just spectacular. H. Winst. Thank you so much for the follow. San Andreas. So I've played... I never played GTA 4 uh, because I went through this spell where I didn't have a games oh, console for eight, like years or really any PC gaming. So there was a whole gap that I just completely missed. Um, so I've, I've had every... I haven't got a PS5, but I have had every PlayStation. I just took a huge gap between getting a PS2 and a PS3. Like a long, long time. Uh, Aston, thank you so much for the follow. But I never played GTA. GTA 3, I remember getting. GTA 4, I never played. San, An wait, San Andreas was that a different one? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Um, Vice City was spectacular. I used to, my friend and I used to record using like a VCR car chases done inside G Vice City. Basically, we were doing let's plays in like 2000 and fucking four. <laughs> oh, those are the times. Foreigner, yeah, so many good songs. The stuff they had in that is incredible um i'm just thinking about the soundtracks now it's spectacular stuff. do i play chess i do not um in the sense that i know how to play chess i just don't do it <laughs> i know enough to play oh god oh no i mean it's one of those things that i just don't never really had that much of an interest in I, I i like it in the sense that i like the sort of the strategy of it but not enough to actually want to like participate in it, i suppose Looking forward to the new game. Uh, we talking about the, the management one, Elliot. If that's the case, then hopefully if it's from what we said, made by Frontier, made by Frontier and it's actually good. All it, no it just needs to have more functionality than Motorsport Manager, which I actually think is a really solid game. So it has to be, has to improve on that essentially. Otherwise there's no point in it existing, I suppose, other than licenses, which is like, okay, cool, but mods. Follows GTA San Andreas. I definitely enjoyed C GTA San Andreas. Queen's Gambit the board game <laughs> queen's gambit the board i know i can't believe they made a board game based solely around a netflix show that's that's a bit much in it really <laughs> the adverts were so good i still remember certain adverts from, i don't know which gta this was from but there's a certain advert where a guy goes well hello there danny i didn't know it was hockey season no idea what that's referencing and which game that's from but i've always had that stuck in my head i think it's gta 3 maybe it might be gta 4 no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, they better hold get the hell. Oh, it's Vice City. Of course it's Vice City. <sighs> Queens. Wait, hang on. What? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding this so funny. Wait, there actually is a board game of the. <laughs> Sorry, Icarus, I thought it was a really meta joke you were making about how the board game of the show would be chess, and I was just playing into it. And <laughs> it's not even chess. <laughs> oh, God, I thought you were just joking. What's it bought with? What is it bought with? What is that? And why is it £45? Oh, dear. Oh, chat. I played Gartic Phone last night for the first time. I haven't laughed that much in a while. Oh, good Lord. A board game based on a show based on chess in it. Mozart or Beethoven? Oh, I don't know. Uh, more of an ACDC man myself. Uh, maybe they just had bought with because nobody's buying it. Because let's face it, nobody's buying it. I don't know, someone must be buying it, right? Um, I don't know. I've been playing. I've played a lot more board games lately. I had that board game night a couple of weeks ago. We were playing board games last night. We played Code Names. We played the Jack the Ripper game again. Oh, bit real. Ah, it's fine. It was far enough removed from the beginning of that. <laughs> My birthday present for myself two years ago was a fucking pandemic. <laughs> I was like, oh, good. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I played it last night. It was very, very fun. I think it's one of those things where the more people you've got, the better. It's just, yeah. 
Uh, he's not interested. Okay, well, what can I say yes anyway? And you can deal with that. Oh, God. Uh, no, it's still these two. I wonder how far they're going to up their bids. Because bear in mind, the bids they're putting in are still basically below his transfer value, which is just lovely. Roddy, oh, wow, this is a big chunk. Alexander Knudsen. Ooh, centre-back, 18. FC Copenhagen. Uh, I'm just, just very, I'm not, I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed. Poacher striker, 19 year old from Hull. Hull don't like me unless they set their manager. Tom Frulling. Hmm. The love guru did classes for couples saying, do you want to break the monotony of no monogamy? That's, a, that's even tough to say. The Jack the Ripper Museum. No, I haven't. That does sound fascinating though. As I've grown older, I've suddenly started appreciating things like museums and stuff like that a lot more. The sort of things I would have found boring as a kid, I'm now just like, I'm becoming my grandfather who would watch stuff on History Channel and be like, I'm interested in this. And now I'm just like reading Max Hastings books about history. I'm like, oh God, I've become my granddad and I'm loving it. In a minute, I'll be chewing into Time Team. Uh, Fabrizio, it's Uyghur Allen. Uyghur? Uyghur, what a cool name. Uh, I guess I'll scout them anyway. It, it, it do be feeling like it, really. It's like you hit 30 and all of a sudden, I'm like, hmm, I suddenly care about history. Now, to be fair, I've always liked history. Um, mainly because I had an extraordinarily good history teacher when I was at school. Just instilled a passion for history in me, which was awesome. Randy De Jong. Yeah, we're probably not getting you, are we? Not, oh, it's dropped by a 250k, though. Maybe there's still a, cho still a chance for us. Ayanda Zulu. Bigger and Siala's not good. That's disappointing. At least I can still discard, though. The Pencil Museum in the Lake District. No, I haven't. Did you know, chat, that there is a drainage museum? A drainage museum. I've driven past it. It's sort of out in the fens towards, like, Ely Way. But, yeah, it exists, and it's the draining museum. There's also, when I was a kid, we would go on holiday to Devon a lot, and my dad would always threaten to take us to Barometer World, which is <laughs> exactly what you think it is. Oh... World's largest pencil. Well, I don't know. I mean, if there's nothing else on, then fine. Peter's Museum. Oh, fair one. I imagine there is, yeah. A lot of pressure there. Yeah, History Channel itself actually doesn't have much cool history stuff on it anymore. Most of the time I get my... I, I read a lot. Like, I've read a lot of Max Hastings books. Um, but yeah, I, I just like history. I find it's interesting. Uh, let's see. So that's that. We're actually going to be wa wafting up on the PSG game soon. Still be a force. Well, it depends on who buys them, really, doesn't it? If they've got an investment... If they've got huge money behind them. It feels like Chelsea's the type of club that would never have been up for sale otherwise. And thus, big investments probably wouldn't have been looking to buy them in the first place. So now that they're going to be sort of forcibly sold in a way, I would say if they had the right investment, then yeah. Um, I don't see them going anywhere. Let's put it that way. Always oh, goes down well. True. <laughs> that is superb. International Spy Museum. Where's that? Maybe a period of history. I like, I'm not like super specific. So I like kind of any history from sort of like Norman Conquest sort of onwards to like sort of even up to like, you know, World War II, Cold War type of era. I'm not really the, the biggest fan of the ancient history stuff. I'm not sure why I can't, I find it less interesting. But yeah, Washington, standard. <laughs> you can tell me what it is, but you'd have to kill me, right? What are the plan? Well... It depends. Never underestimate the amount of money that hedge fund managers and stuff have, potentially. Bloody Ethelred. Oh, useless. He, he just wasn't ready. If he'd have been ready, things would have been fine. I'm just saying. Yeah, World War II history is fantastic. Uh, Dan Carlin's hardcore history podcasts are top-notch. Max Hastings has obviously written a lot of books about it, which I've read a few of them. They're just very long. It's like 600 pages. See you later, Inferno. The Banksy Museum. That's just a bank, isn't it? Let's see. Jason Deronda asking what, what is his asking price though because it says I mean he's a cracking player for sure very good physicals especially he's 24 so it's, it's got a chance to build them up a little bit more oh estimate I, I think it just depends on your situation really like I wouldn't actually I probably would to be fair not that I can at the moment six foot six, oh I didn't see that in this case yes just immediate buy I couldn't care less what the rest of his attributes were <laughs> just <laughs> that face just get Yes, well played. Go on, St. Pat's. Oh. Hey, he's still a decent keeper, right? Point of view is if you're being transported back in time. That's kind of cool, actually. 
See, this is the thing. I often find a lot of books by looking at Amazon bestseller charts for certain categories. But I've noticed that a lot of them are shit. And the other day, I was looking for like a book on ice hockey or something. Like, because you know how most sports have got like those famous books that are about that sport. With football is pretty obvious, but with like things like baseball, moneyball, and there's various other books that are very famous. There's um, Phil Jackson's book about basketball. But in hockey, there doesn't seem to be much about that. But also, when you go into the categories on Amazon to look at this stuff, half the time, the books aren't even related to the category you're looking at. Peter Grouch's biography is the number one selling ho- ice hockey book, apparently. <laughs> like, what? Oh, dear. We've got a chance not to get relegated. No, you literally can't. It's it's an absolute death trap trying to convince your players to do anything sensible in those meetings. I still got the whole reading thing. To be fair, they have probably taken one too few one too many hits to the head after all. Bless them. Well, to be fair, this was specifically in the ice hockey category, but it's yeah. It's, it's annoying. I, I found much better results by looking at books I've already read and looking at the other people who bought this also bought this kind of stuff. And I've found so many more books lately that I've been stocking up on my lists to uh, eventually get for 99p. Hello, Chato. We've just found a fan who's interested in joining us. It's Andy Colau. Chilean, 18. Left back, annoyingly. But definitely going to shortlist him now so I keep an eye on him. Because why will he talk to us but the others won't? Uh, regardless, maybe it's because this is not as good. And no, oh, he's 21. Damn it. Anyone else that I'm missing? That man plays for an ATM. Nicholas Som. I swear I've already got rid of some of these guys. Okay, that's fine. That's a big chunk we can get rid of, actually. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's the problem. Every- I mean, they lost 5 0 last night. It's mad. Watch the trashers. I did not know. Um, no, I haven't, honestly. Alternate history. If social was a successful... <laughs> Very alternate, I'd say. Questionable penguin. Thank you for the 21 months. Long time no see. Ah. I love to choose this at work while consuming my bacon egg and ash brown sandwich. Excellent choice. Enjoy your lunch, sir. How's it going? Welcome back. The Lisa on Ice episode of The Simpsons, yeah. Uh, right, let me just do preseason now. Chris Tarrant's Extreme Railways. No. I, don't, I mean, I don't think I even have history channel. I was listening to... Weird, actually. I was listening to a podcast about... You know the guy that cheated on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The coughing, coughing major. I was listening to a podcast about that a couple of days ago. Really good. Young one. Oh, it's a new one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yesterday, yeah. Sorry, I thought you meant that it was on yesterday. Like, do you, know, you know what I mean? Um... Yeah, I'm still I'm still watching Borgen at the moment. I watch it very slowly. <laughs> the Liam's a lap. Is this? Is it just me? Oh, he's still only 22, I suppose. Like he's very good. It's actually it could just be the attribute colors because I'm not used to seeing the attributes in this colors. I'm not like, oh wow, you know. Hey, Koopy. Treaty Life is, is good. British Scandal is a very good podcast. Alice Levine and Matt, whatever his name is, are actually, they have a very, very good chemistry on that podcast. It's surprising. I like a lot of Wondery stuff, actually, in fairness. Like, Business Wars is pretty good, too. And that sort of stuff. They used to do another one, but I've forgotten it. Matt Ford, that's it, yeah. I, I really like their, um, they just have very good chemistry. Most popular person in the history of the country. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, it was a cultural sensation as far as the zeitgeist of like UK entertainment really, wasn't it? There was a time when Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was the biggest thing on television in this country. Um, that thing that people sat down for every time it was on because it was just the, the big the big thing. I st- still remember, I'm fairly certain, I still remember the name of the first person that ever won a million pounds. Wasn't it someone called Judith Keppel? I might be wrong about that. But it would be, if I'm right, then it'd be weird that that would still stick in my head after all these years. Um, that sucks for Brad, but we're probably going to send you home just in case. It was. It was, yeah. Weird, though. Because you wouldn't think about that from most other contestants of any other game show, really, would you? Tom Dunno only covers the 92 season. That's, that still sounds interesting to me, though, right? I just like reading about stuff like that. She's on Eggweight. Oh, really? Royal Monica for the million pound question. Yeah. Well, I think it was just because you could... There was a lot of money to be made, right? 
Like, if you think of other game shows, like, look at The Chase, for example. Because I, mean, I always think about The Chase and Pointless, but there seems to be more money to be won on The Chase, even though, obviously, there's less chance of winning it, I guess. But the amount of money that they are potentially winning is nowhere near in the ballpark of the amount of money they were technically putting on the line with who wants to be a millionaire. But I guess the balance of odds was that people are very unlikely to take the larger profits. But people were regularly winning some pretty large sums on that show because of the way that the system worked. But they were obviously reaping the rewards, uh, or Selador certainly were, from a, like a, a back-end standpoint. Yeah. Easy to win 10k. Oh, I bet it is. Yeah. That completely makes sense. I feel like Tipping Point. Uh, I know we're literally talking about daytime TV quiz shows here, but we've all we've all seen them. When you're when you're not working and you're just like, oh, this is on. And um, Tipping Point, I feel like it was a bit of a missed opportunity. I feel like the one thing that they don't do enough of on Tipping Point is have supplementary stuff in the actual machine itself. I know they've done it a bit better. They've added a few extra stuff, but it feels like there should be more things that are like modifiers that are available inside the machine itself. Different colored tokens that have different meanings that create different effects. I think that would have made the show way more interesting, personally. For me, anyway. Tell me you work from home without literally. <laughs> what game show would I like to be on? Probably The Chase. I reckon I could do a, quite a good job on The Chase. Maybe. My general knowledge is usually quite good. Weakest Link was great. Yep. Yeah, hands up who's working. Sorry. <clears throat> working right now. Runs with back to go. I definitely don't want that on Doran because otherwise he'll just start. Well, you know what we'll start doing. Likes to run the keeper. That's good. So he scores enough as it is. Yep. Prizes in the. Yeah, damn right. I want to win a fake Rolex <laughs> on tipping point. <laughs> Weakest link was sick. Yeah. But it would just be cool if there was more stuff in it. Like things that, like make any i know there's like the times two stuff and they had a couple of prizes but i just feel like there's room for stuff that they maybe couldn't have done that was on weakest link it was the strongest league in every round of lost in the final oh that sucks a knockoff mobile phone in tipping point yeah exactly i want a tiny look literally chat i want to be able to win something like that in tipping point i don't even know what this is or why it's on my desk but like <laughs> i want to win that but like a giant one. Here's a supply of bog rope. We all need bog rope, striker. <laughs> that would have been perfect for the start of the pandemic. She'd have been the king of the warlords. In the toilet paper wars. James Keatley. Okay. Renzo Sabag. Yeah, all the South Americans for the most part still want to talk to us. Nice clean desk. <laughs> My desk is actually fairly clean, to be fair. A WWE special of the weakest link. Golden Balls. Was Golden Balls the one that was presented by Jasper Carrot? We lost many a good man in the toilet paper walls. True. <laughs> a moment of silence for the for the toilet paper people. Every secret prize was a boat. Yes. Was that like Bullseye? Or game shows like that? Or was it the Price is Right that used to have a lot of boat related products? It's like, when are you ever going to use that? It's like, I live in the middle of no... Just, going down a little tiny stream by your house in a full-on fucking speedboat not the most <laughs> uh what else we got it's actually not too bad there's a pair of sunglasses some chapsticks uh the label off this shirt <laughs> just sell it on true bullseye was a speedboat yeah for sure caravan yes why not take your caravan and your speedboat together tow it herbert botter I like it. Well, no, not, sorry, not Herbert. Hebert. Hebert. Lucky Cloppe. That's a cool name. Oh, damn. I bet he's something really good. Oh, uh, he might be, you know. ICX. Thank you for the 14 months. Hope you're well. Plug on eBay. True. Well, I think you'd kind of have to, honestly. I feel like if I won, like, a really expensive car, I probably wouldn't be able to afford to insure it. Right? Say I won, like, a really nice, like, I don't know. Like a Mercedes C Class, like or like an AMG Mercedes, like say I want something like that, and it, I wouldn't be able to insure the far the bastard. Like literally, it would cost more than my car to insure, probably. Ah. Oh. Ooh, hang on, another guy that's interested. So Uruguay is certainly softening, but I suspect it's just because they're not very good. Annoyingly, that's the downside. Just to fill it up now, true. Oh God, yeah. I filled up my car on Saturday morning when Em and I went to Tesco's to get some snacks. 
76 pound it cost me to fill my car up. <laughs> Fucking hell. Admittedly, I was very low on fuel, but that was that's quite a lot of money to put in one tank of fuel. I remember getting um I remember that this is a weird one. I remember buying petrol in 2008 with a 10p off a litre voucher at Tesco's in Harlow for 79p a litre. I'm thinking to myself, I've got this made. And a tank would be like 25 quid. <laughs> it was ridiculous. We're not 5p again. God damn it. I'm kind of glad that I um got my fuel then then because I haven't used much of it. That's mad. Soaps. Only neighbours. We we are we stand neighbours here. We stand Harold Bishop especially. Uh, oh, hang on. I think I've got to wait for this uh, Steam notification to turn out the way so I can stall that offer just so they don't do anything silly. So Carpenu, improvement as a footballer. That's good. He's improving in training. That's what I like to see. He could be the next Stoyanovich with that kind of attitude. 45p a litre when I passed my test. God. See, I passed my t driving test on April Fool's Day. And, well... You can guess what happened. And not four because it was never going to go over. Ooh, bad choice. Five digits. That's, that's God. Michael, oh, you, you've ruined it now. I think I've only ever bought a full tank of fuel when there's been shortages. <laughs> Seriously. I, I know exactly when you were talking about, but... Yeah, I actually got lucky with that. My local garage um, had a little bit of extra fuel that weekend. And we managed to get in the queue at like 6 in the morning. Because I was taking him to work. And they just opened. So we managed to get like first dibs on the fuel. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to go to my mate's wedding. Came up a double mini roundabout. Ouchie. That's not good. Oh, yeah. But it's like... You know how a certain like motorway garages will absolutely gouge the hell out of the prices as it is. Hello, Pog. How's it going? Bottle. What's up? Oh, Jesus. What, she clean it with a bog brush? <laughs> doesn't, cost, doesn't cost much. I suppose, yeah. I, I just always buy full tanks of petrol every time I go to a garage. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> That's literally what it is. See you later, face kicker. I'm just going to buy 30 pound of fuel and see how much it gets me. Change around. I suppose. Yeah. 167. It was 152 when I bought it at the weekend. But that was on Saturday. Premium leaded in the mid 90s. 55p a litre. Oh, God. Those were the days, right? Yeah. I, well, see, the thing is, the price is still affecting you, though, because you're getting less fuel, which means you're filling up more often. <laughs> I suppose. 182. Good God. Max Hemmingson. Oh, he's 21. But we do want another midfielder. He's another ball winner, though. Still, though, intriguing. There's a few players coming in now. Gwa Akanjip. Oh, cool. And a Mez. Oh, expensive, though. Still. Galenio. We got Al I, just, I find his name funny. Kevin Rossi. Another centre back. Oh, it's Cape Verdean. 6 2. Good jumping reach. Tackling marking could be okay. He's intriguing. Antonio Barbosa, too, with a name like that. Yeah, I always just feel to the max because just because I just don't want to have to do it more. Really? <laughs> That's what it is. I'm only giving you five. <laughs> Mustafa Salah. Oh, okay. He's probably going to be quite good, isn't he? Hey, Colaslav, how's it going? Jordan Aronson. Vuzi Mieza is a superb name. Hello. You get on the pogs. Uh, they're all okay. Wow, some nice five stars appearing here. David Vera. There we go. Better probably yeah, probably that's expensive as fuck as well. <laughs> Looking all nice, yeah. I thought I'd dress up for the chat today. What can I say? I want to give people a bit of oi candy. You look lovely, darling. With your Back to the Future thingy. Poaching youth intake players. Uh, as far as I know, you can't really do that. In the sense that... Technically, you can. But I've only ever seen it happen once. 
Bye, Pog. In the entire time I've been playing FM, since they introduced the feature of poaching players, I've only ever seen my club poach a player from a team once. Whereas I would say it's probably happened to me a few hundred times the other way. But it can technically happen. But there's nothing as far as I know that you can actually do to make it happen more. I've had players poach from me all the time, but I've only ever seen my team poach from another player once to the point where I didn't think that it was actually even possible. But there is actually a news article that can show up to tell you that you've poached someone else's youth player. It does happen, but not at all. <laughs> it might as well not happen, you know? Any more on chocolate snacks? Tru yeah, I I'm one of those people that I walk into the garage and always feel like I should be getting something else while I'm in there because I'm like, oh, look, snacks. And yeah, bad for me. suited and booted but yeah i'm ready to go man got my brute on can you not poach them manually uh not in the, hang on, it depends on what we're talking about if we're talking about the method of actually poaching youth players like there's a mechanic in the game that causes you or you to either be have your youth players poached by other teams or you can poach them from them but as i said it's rare then no you can't do that manually that is something that happens before the youth intake even happens if you mean like can you take other use players from other teams then yeah of course you can but there's no like trick to it you just go in and buy them i don't know that's why i thought we were specifically talking about the actual mechanic itself um but like as far as you can take players you just yeah i guess you just have to go in and buy them really if you mean when the youth takes already happened superstar youngsters coming through um let's have a look because i feel like I mean, I think like the biggest... Oh, that's potential. Hang on, wrong button. You can see that there's definitely a stonking amount of talent that we've got here uh, knocking about. I feel like people like Carpenu is fantastic. He's only 19 years old, but he is going to be homegrown because he's only just turned 19. He's a player for the future as hell. We've got... I mean, I'll just I'll just put him on the screen for a second. This is Mihai Aliku. I, look at the mentals on him at 19. Ridiculous. You feel, yeah, exactly. You're like, ooh, let me just grab a Snickers or something. You can get them for compensation. However, what will often happen with most European sides, if you try to do that with, say, an Austrian, Austria is particularly bad for this. If you notice that you'll see an Austrian player, and you're like, oh, they're really cheap because they've got youth contract. The moment you try to offer them an actual contract, they will just immediately sign with the club. So far, I've had that happen to me every single time to the point where I've stopped trying occasionally you can get away with it in other countries but most of the time it feels like it's more difficult this year to actually get players on youth contracts to join you they seem much more likely to just sign a contract the moment you try to do that with their existing parent club well that seems to be my experience with it occasionally you can get around it so i think we got moses Mayani on that type of deal i think but and also sometimes paying the compensation is actually worse sometimes you can um any Irish ones come through? Uh, not for our academy, really, because they're not very good. Uh, the best Irish players we've got that have come through. I love that even our best youth prospect at the moment isn't even Irish. Like, he came through our youth academy, but he ain't Irish. <laughs> yeah, you can often buy them from less for less than their compensation. Uh, this is Oren McGowan, actually. Admittedly, we didn't bring him through. We signed him from Wolves, but he is here. Uh, he was third on the next gen list, too. Maybe, yeah, it might only work if you're a massive side. Because if the team that you're trying to poach them from has higher rep, they might just... Oh, yeah. Sorry, you're right. What we're talking about. The biggest gem of all. Let me just get to the, the top part of the list here. Roy Galvin is probably... I, I would say... If not the greatest footballer of all time, certainly in the top one, I'd say. It's it's around that level. Oh. Double decker or boost. Oh, okay then. Fine. Your choice of snack... What's your, like, go-to? You, you're going to just grab a chocolate bar or something. Or, or another form of snack, I suppose. And you're like, what, what are you getting? Because I'm a bit partial to occasionally a Terry's chocolate orange bar if I see one. <laughs> sort of in keeping with me, isn't it? Or a snack one. Well, thank you. Squad is massive. It has to be. That's the point. Um, call out. Oh, he's back. Definitely scout him more. Full of Ballador. Oh, yeah. Roy Gavin is a disgrace. How dare you? That is blasphemy of the highest order. Come on. We've all got a poster of Roy Galvin on the wall, right? All of them. <laughs> yeah. I'll take them all, please. Whisper, whispers are solid. I don't mind a whisper. Big fan of that. To be fair, I like most of them. I like most chocolate bars. Salted caramel hot cross bun. I love it. That's so bougie. Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. M&S used to do these, like, um, I think they were called Whirls. So basically what they were 
Well, like chocolate sort of sun spherical pyramid or not spherical like a not a pyramid but like a pyramid without a pointed top so it had a flat top on it and there's a word for it i'm sure and they were full of cream but oh god they were good I used to get better get them in mns in a pack of three a dome i suppose like a dome yeah like a rubber i don't know it was like a pyramid shape but like a, a spherical cylindrical pyramid kind of thing so damn nice spherical pyramid yeah a cone i kind of like a cone yeah but without the actual um without a pointy top it had a kind of flat top walnut world that's literally what they were called thank you yes but sometimes you they did ones that didn't have walnuts on them as well so good yeah walnut whip i think yeah they were so fucking sick mns used to do also mns used to do these tubes profiterol pyramid big fan of that basically like a volcano yeah they used to do these like tubes of sweets. They were just chocolate sweets, almost like coins, in like little foil wrappers. And there's something about the chocolate. Oh, no, no, I know they still do that. I just haven't been to MS in a while. <laughs> Those were good as well. And not to mention, obviously, the ultimate MS snack, Percy Pigs. Although I haven't liked them so much since I think they changed the recipe a few years ago. Either that or I just started to grow out of Percy Pigs. Percy Pigs, spectacular. Spherical Pyramid for Rero Rocher. I guess so. Never been a big fan of Rero Rochers, honestly. Percy Pigs, though. Sensational stuff. Colin the Caterville. How did you know what my birthday cake was, Twinkle Toast? <laughs> M still won't let me have a Colin the Caterpillar wedding cake. Like, what is this? They made them vegan. Uh, maybe, but... Oh, that could be what it is. Yeah, the recipe, it sounds tastes a bit different on them now. I like the idea of Percy Oigs. Yeah, Freddo's used to be good. I used to buy them from the school tuck shop. Those were the days. Oh, cancelled. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Did you propose? <laughs> Imagine if that was how I told you. <laughs> Just slip that in there. Oh, international break. No, no, no. I want preseason there. There we go. Upgraded. Yes. Who have we signed so far? So we've got... Uh, Carpenter, the left back guy from Cluj. We've got. You weren't expecting me to say. You were expecting me to be like, we've signed no one. <laughs> uh, we've got Alaku, obviously the attacking midfielder from What's Magic. We've got Kennedy, who's still at Super Sport United at the moment because uh, he wanted that extra six month loan. And we've got Rastislav Sluka, of course. Technically not Colin, but it's fine. Is that what it's called? The Technically Not Colin the Caterpillar Cake. One for M, one Colin the Caterpillar Cake. Okay, for the adults, thank you. For the mature people. Maybe a Thomas the Tank Engine cake chat. What are we saying? Hey, Mike, how's it going? Sammy the Sausage Roll Cake. Oh, now now I'm in. I think I actually have a meal deal sausage roll in the fridge still, chat. Which I've just remembered existed. I, I got three meal deal sausage rolls at Tesco's on Saturday. And I think I actually still have one left. Oh, dear. I am excellent. We get Millie the Millipede. I don't know. We can still get a copyright claim. Millie might copyright us. We'd hate that. Cake that looks like Hugh Dennis. That's very specific. I like it. Oddly specific. Agreed, Timmy. They are superior to oh, everything else. Savvy Snake. <laughs> Don't make me get this. Don't step on Snake out. No step on Snake out again. Uh, right. God damn it. It does feel like we're losing our touch a little bit, but it might just be that the players were looking at specific. Hang on. What about Cameron Niven? He's very Scottish, but also quite expensive we don't have the money god i'm annoyed that we missed out oh third of february is coming oh, my camera's frozen ggs all g geez where is it i've lost my camera <laughs> camera froze last night while i was on discord so that was good never had that happen to me before oh dear yeah i think we need to go back in for that other guy once February 3rd rolls around, we'll try again. Because I think he's the, the piece of the puzzle. Oh, what can I say? I'm a, I'm a slow-moving individual in most methods. Another, oh, that's the same guy, isn't it? Right, more information. Intriguing. Shimon Miskovic. Very agile. Lovely. I'm a human sloth. Damn straight. I'd still be in bed if I had, any, if I had my way. A bit more of that. Okay, this is more like it. It's... Ariel Romeo. Not quite, but close. Wilma Rodriguez. Ah, nah. 
Gotta draw the line somewhere, help the scout. He's out a little bit. Oh, there's a few more guys down here, actually. I want to make sure that we don't accidentally discard the scout report on that brilliant um, Serbian left side player I want to sign as well. Because it's going to be between those two as to who we pick up. I think he actually is on the shortlist, isn't he? Yeah, he's still being scouted. God damn it. Hurry up, scouts. He's number one on the list, for the love of God. We should definitely get PSG in today. And hopefully a couple of signs. It's so annoying because I actually lined up a few players for us to go and sign and then they all turned us down so far. Disappointing. We did. Mike, we managed to get a hype train with 69 subs in it. And chat didn't even know they were doing it. Because they can't see that and I can't see it until the very end. That was perfect. Oh, thank God. Three? Wow, that's a long time. No! Don't want to infect anyone, Darren, with your with your mind tricks. Uh, oh, I can still send him home. Three weeks. Good God. He sounds like he actually does have COVID there. Gustavo San Juan. Yeah, these guys are expensive. Annoyingly. Canyon Modet. Oh, hang on. This is a... Oh, was a guy from Bar... Oh, I've been burned before by Basel. Worryingly. Who have the... I think quite a few people have VIP now. I suspect... I mean, repeat after me, I suppose. So good they named him twice. It's Petter Petter. You know, I like the fact that regions at least have a little bit more hair going on at the back here. It looks like slightly more like hair and less like a cheese string, but it's still also quite cheese string related. Sent some things. Yes, I can do things. I can always do things. Uh, also, did you get my Discord message the other day, Mike? Let's see. Right. Yeah, there you go. I know. Literally, it was like two days before you messaged me that. Edward booked trains to go to see her parents. Got up to 35k and lost it all on Harold and betting on Showdown. Ah, uh, you made the mistake of betting on me during Showdown. I mean, really, that's on you. <laughs> You've been. In we know what happens. Oh, I'm still a bit kind about that. I think it needs to take some time away. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. See when we're free again. Yeah. Mental. Oh, God. They just won't... Oh, God. Hang on. Oh, he won't go. He's not going to want to leave to go to Hearts, is he? Okay, well, ignoring that my client's preferred destination would be Hearts. Firstly, why? Secondly, reject. Hopefully, he's not going to complain about... I don't think he's going to complain. Petter Petter said to Petter's par Petter Petter's parents, why did you call me Petter Petter? I guess we'll never know. But he did pick a pickle pepper. In true. Can he do Scotland? Apparently not. I'm not going to... Okay. Um, it appears that Mihai Alaku is already living an impact. More specifically on Moses Mayeni. Is he like a hitman or something? Moses wants to leave, sort of. And then Mihai's like, no, you're going nowhere, Sonny Jim. Exactly. We have way more heart than hearts. At least he wasn't Pekka. True. Loan Why the fuck would I loan you to Milan? Also, the mandatory future fee is still two thirds of the lowest end of his transfer value. Piss off. I love how when I try to put a bid in for a player from a club, they're like, oh no, we want 17 million now for a player that's transfer value is like six, uh, like between three and six. But then when they come to me, they're like, no, no, you're getting, you're getting the lowest end of it. Darling. I like that. Yeah, it's... AI negotiations are still funky as all hell. I think Pog's just gone out for a walk and found a cat and has just sent me pictures of a cat. So there we go. A cat chat. Brian Barbieri. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Wow, PSG. Ooh. PSG just stacking up young talent again. Let me guess. Oh, he actually did come through at PSG in fairness. We are not signing you. Hugo Rojas. Eh. We're in that weird point now where it's just so many... Oh, hang on. Another guy. That There's definitely players here that will discuss terms with us, potentially. There's a few more here now. The guy at Fratsky. If you like Eastern European players here, definitely worth talking to once we can actually scout them a bit more. It's just looking more positive. Might actually be able to pick up a couple of guys later on. Alex Cortina. Great name. 
Paolo Busualdo. Busualdo? I just want a cool nationality in here too. That's my dream. Okay. Ah, oh, we can't dismiss. Damn it. League prize money. It should be slightly higher this year. You're right. Wow. Okay. It's jumped up a ton. Nearly 700 grand now you get for winning the top flight. It was like 180 when we joined this club. To be fair, that's actually gone up quite a lot. Have we moved up or something? No, they haven't come around to doing that yet. Wow. That's a big chunk. 700 grand. Not that it matters since we're the ones that are winning it each time, but I imagine that second place is still getting a nice little uh, chunk in there too. I wonder if Glenn Kamara's retired by now. Yeah, I figured he would have done. After 10 years. After a fund your points on that one. Apologies. I wonder how much league prize money we'd get if we actually did get the league to like number one. Because I bet it would still be embarrassingly low, comparatively speaking. Unless it scales exponentially as you go further up. It seems like it's definitely taking bigger and bigger steps each time. Six guys. Yeah, I, th I assume he's probably chosen not to go into like staffery afterwards. Wow. Just, just the £9 million loss this month. Admittedly, that's just from me signing players. He must be fully retired, yeah. Which is weird, because we actually do have Scotland switched on. So I wondered... I figured there'd be a higher chance of that actually happening, right? Let me just... Ah, oh, it's because I have the under-19 switched on. I wonder what it's looking like there's so many players here. Right. Hi, FM. There we go. Got them in the end. No number 12 for you. You could be number 18. Second division improvement. That's a good question. I haven't really thought about that. You'd imagine it would be... It's hard to know where it starts, but I mean, this is. This indicates to me that yes, it is improving. I mean, it's still lower than Serie D, <laughs> but nevertheless, I don't know what number it starts at at the beginning of the save. Tony Weston, Burn Albion striker, has not been there since the start of the save. Actually, how's his career kind of gone? So he actually starts at Rangers. They went to Forfar in League One. And then immediately back to the Premiership with Aberdeen. And then didn't play a single minute for them before they loaned him out to Torquay United in the National League. Wow. That's a hell of a switcheroo. Hello. You right? Ah, fair one. Where was this cat? He was walking back from the shop. Oh, you went to the shop? Yeah, he did. Oh. And uh, this cat, this black and white cat just came running up to me. It looks so funny. So I'm rubbing his off. A black and white cat was, was Pat around? Oh, that's cute. Well, there we go. Oh, I know, I've seen them. So they went to burn. Did I spell Glenn wrong? Oh, sorry, I was just... I was writing it how it was written in the... um. Oh, there it... He's still playing. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, I wrote it how it was written in the, um, the lookup. I always do that, just because otherwise... Yeah, so he is actually still playing for Stuttgart. 30 grand a week as well. Whew. He's been at Rangers as well. Bye, Pog. Pog. Is there still a sausage roll in the fridge? Ah, he's like a hawk there from Ice Battler. Uh, Booty's only just started um, his new coaching course at the moment. But the thing is, he came with really good attributes to start with. So I think he could be a legitimately really good assistant manager one day. But right now, we can't obviously let Dave... We can't move Dave out of the way just yet. But Regan Booty, like, for real, is... That's his current setup. And he's only got a Continental C license. He's working on a new one at the moment, which will hopefully give him another bump. But he's legitimately decent for a, an assistant, I would say. Oh... Lovely. I'm just a bit too sensual. I don't think it was sensual enough. I would argue. Ah, oh. it's that time of the day. Retired at 31. So basically, what happened was he he his agent screwed him basically. So we wanted to give him a new contract, and he clearly wanted a new contract. However. His agent wouldn't remove a clause that would have insisted he play in a role that we didn't use, despite him being at the club for nine years, which left us with some problems because we weren't getting him a contract that implied that he had to play as a deep line playmaker because he would just complain the moment we did that. So yeah, 
he released was released by the club. Uh, these are not that crunchy. These ones are more like your uh, soft kind of ones. Hmm. And another one. Nothing to see here. Just a green sausage roll. Normal behavior. Hmm. That's some good lunch. I'll take that. But then, because he was out of contract and had no club, you know what it's like in FM. They've been out of contract for like two mi two minutes, and then immediately they just decide, "Yep, now I'm going to retire, no matter how old they are." It's like when that player on Throms to say retired instead of joining us. Keeping you healthy. That's I appreciate that, Michael. That's good. You're just looking out for me. I appreciate that. I'm going to do. Hang on, I'll do one-handed yoga while I eat my sausage roll. Imagine tuning into this. Just a man doing yoga while eating a sausage roll. Mm. Oh, you're right. That was OTI, wasn't it? That was when we were at Segen. No, Cyprus. It was in Cyprus, wasn't it? This is what you were all subbed for. Best of both worlds. Well, thank you. Bro. Oh. I need to start running more. <laughs> or at all. <laughs> Oh, boy, with the gift is time to Ben on wheels. I don't know why it's not showing up on the screen. Have I broken it all? Do I have the option to replay it? I don't. Damn it. I don't know what's happened there. That's weird. Unless it came through right at the end of, like, the yoga or something. Okay. Top scorer. Yep. It's kind of weird because he's not been the top scorer in the last two seasons. But there you go. Oh, your nan standard. Let's see. I'm going to just... Uh... Excellent name. Real guy as well. I, I rate that a lot. Also, I know for a fact that Manchester United MacGyver was in this database. There was a guy that came through, a Namibian player, that I'll show you, with the surname MacGyver. Uh, where is it? Africa. Oh, wait, no. It's not like that, is it? You have to go into this thing here. Uh, Africa. I don't know if he, hopefully he's still in the national team. Why am I struggling to find my Namibia? Sausage roll review. Excellent. Tesco's meal deal sausage rolls are always excellent. Please still be there. Wait, which team was it? One of these. I think it was the other 23s. No, don't tell me he's gone. There he is. Shiba Siso MacGyver. What's that? Just as I say that, giant piece of grit. <laughs> Just as I say that. Terrific stuff. Hey, Gelcha. Oh, dear. That was... Oh. I take that back. I'd like to reassess my review. That was... Oh. Good God. Oh. FC. Now imagine, but that means there is the potential for a player to come through whose first name is Manchester United. Is he still in the first team? Oh yeah, he is. Man's actually got caps. He never used to get caps. Well, last year he didn't get them. I just want to see another guy come through with the first name Manchester United because of it. Although there is McCartney Nawaseb, named after Paul maybe? Should have got to say. There's some really good ones at Asda. I love it. Mirko Wolf as well is a cool name. Right, otherwise we'll never get these... <laughs> we'll never get any games done at this rate. I just want to get to G February 3rd because I can go back in for that guy. I think that's going to have to be our final... <laughs> final stand on him, but I think he would improve us. Even if we have to agree to a silliness. 
What was his free kick attribute like? I didn't see it. One draw with shells. Good lord. That's concerning. I think after... Oh, yeah, it's President's Cup then. So that's going to get, um... Like, removed or whatever. It feels like we are at least top player of the... Wow. I'm actually kind of surprised that we don't have more players on this list, to be honest. But there you go. He's already been pipped as the top player in the league. He probably just has the highest CA, to be honest. Kadir Demir. Oh, wait, hang on. He's on from Tirol. Oh, Jesus. Solid player. Maxime Brun. Vincent Monet. Yeah. He looks a tiny bit like Lando Norris. He's okay. he's good, but he's he's a Milan. Like, what are we going to expect from that? Thomas Glazer. Oh, he can't afford. Well, he, can't, he, he won't talk to us. God damn it. It feels like every time we're like, oh, a good player. Then it's just like, nope, they're not interested. You're at 20. Oh, you will, but you're at Inter. Ramiro. Nope, won't talk to us. Bastien Gauthier. Oh, okay. 18, French. He's actually kind of intriguing. The thing about... It is the lack there, but he's got quite... He's quite solid. Like, he's quite well-rounded across the board. I like him. I'm going to save him. I'm still... I'm more interested in the Romanian guy. Looks like a meth user. <laughs> he's a... He's a meth enjoyer. <laughs> I think we'll revisit him. I, I still want to see if we can get that Romanian guy. Because he's just better in every way. But is going to cost us. But I feel like it'd be worth it. Particularly he wouldn't cost us that much more than this guy. Right, so I want to go to... Oh, registration. Okay. Ooh, this could be slightly more complex. And we're going to play Dundalk. Standard. Right. Let's see if I can find him again. Watch him and Howe have signed a new contract or something. Uh, where's he gone? There he is. Jonas Doga Shernat. 34... Okay, so yeah, no new contract. That's fine. He's still got the release clause. Please, 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 please. Hopefully I didn't do it too soon. What? You... Oh, my God. It might just be that I need to do it the next day. God's sake. I thought it was like a month you had to wait. Maybe it's, maybe it's because I waited. I didn't wait. Hmm. Maybe I should have given it a couple of extra days. I don't think it should make a difference. Right, let's see. I'm actually going to auto-select it. Oh, there's only... Wait, we've got to be careful here, haven't we? Because... Oh, Jesus. Right. So, Alaku has to be registered, but that's a problem. Because that means someone's going to have to drop out. Uh, so, Alaku... Oh, God. Galvin doesn't matter. You're under 21, so you... Oh, you're a goalkeeper, though, so you do... Oh, actually, wait, no, hang on. Yeah, it's fine, because you're an extra goalkeeper. We've already got um the other guy. Daly doesn't count, because he's already registered. Michael Sharif. Chavera. Oh, God. Dickie Franks doesn't need to be registered. Neither do you, actually. Wait a minute. Hang on. This might not be so bad. Because Carpenter can then be put in like that. There we go. Yeah, a load of new guys have just counted as under 21 now. Because they've been at the club for two years. So actually, we might be okay. Uh, what did I miss? The PSG game hasn't happened yet, no. Uh, we're getting close to it, but not super close yet. It was towards the end of the window. Is there anyone missing here that needs to be desperately in? Kennedy's not here. Rui Fisher might as well come in then, I guess. Moses doesn't need to be. Mura might as well be in as well. Oh, I can only do three. That's fine. That'll probably have to do. I'm sure I've forgotten someone. No one important. <laughs> That's the main thing. Because Chevera and Franca no longer have to be registered for this for the moment because they have, um, they're have they under 21 and they've been here for two years. That's perfect. Carlo always complains about this. <laughs> and then he gives up straight away. Uh, you, I don't think you really need to care. I mean, you're the one that refused to go out on loan. You shouldn't even be here. He's heartened by it, Chato. Okay. Like, we're going to get our asses handed to us by PSG. We know that. But we've got to give it a crack, right? 
he's doing well okay he's injured right i think i might oh uh i'll up that a little bit because i do want to give him the highest on that one do we even need him it's not so much that I, whether we need him or not it's more just that he's here he has a contract and no one's interested in him at the moment anyway so i was gonna let him go but then i gave him a new deal because he did actually do some okay stuff we did get out of the group yeah we beat celtic 2-1 on the final day bought players from Irish clubs just to distribute wealth um it's whether they would or would, i mean firstly no they wouldn't and secondly i don't feel like that's so it's not something i would ever do in this safe uh it's for me that's just a little bit at that point i might as well just turn the editor on and give them money like that to me is just a bit too much the only time we did that with Tromsø was that as a meme that time when we when we bought Tor torsten salt hammer off of Brahm because they uh broke our player's spine <laughs> but we did that more as a meme than anything else okay uh, but no, they won't spend it wisely because you know how AI transfers work. They just don't. The only way that you can try to get them to make better signings is if you give them a load of loan players and their squad suddenly really good because of it. It does seem that they then start signing players that are more on a par with those players because they have them in the squad. And those players then see that squad and go, oh, they're really good. And then they're more willing to join them because of the quality of the players they have. That seems to be how you do it. That was the big deal. Uh, right, let's try them again. But I'm suspecting that it's going to be one of those weird ones where yet again, the game's just going to randomly decide that now they don't want to join, even though they did, and nothing's changed. But my suspicion is he's going to say the same thing again. What the fuck? You literally were talking to us a month ago. Believes... Well, it's funny. You didn't see that a month ago, and you would still... Fuck it, L. It's just refusing to let us sign. It just will not allow us to sign a player in this transfer, will it? Will it? That guy goes to the Aventus instead of us. Fair one. Although they weren't interested until we were. This guy would talk to us. Now he won't. <sighs> the rep change could help, true, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, they can do that. Fails and attempts to use wider range of passing. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. That's annoying. Come back. We already have Southampton board offered. God, how are you still getting good sweet senior affiliates? Declare interested in publicly. That's a great way of getting other teams to steal him. Uh, that is a terrific way of getting other teams to steal him from you. Uh, but we might as well have a look. Can't hurt. Well, it can. Um, but most of the time, that's what happens. Because then it, you know, it then becomes public. Uh, so we do top target. But I bet you it would just say in the news article, he's not interested anymore. That's what happened the last time we tried that. We'll try it though. There's a lot of Fulham players suddenly appearing here. Mama Traore. Lots of. Why are Fulham getting. Hang on. Oh, I thought he was from Cote d'Ivoire then. <laughs> the flags. Uh... It's annoying I can't d discard these, but it is what it is. Lenfont. Well, well, well. Max Frisk. You'll love it. Actually, wait. He would talk to us. As would Alex Cortina, whose name I really am enjoying. Dominic Meyer. Dalibor Patafta. Great name. And all of you as well. The rest of you can get wrecked. Where is that scout report on that Serbian man? He's the number one on the scout report list. And they keep bringing me all these guys and not him. I just want to know a bit more about him. Yeah, we can't seem to get any more... Uh, I'm willing to move as an expected project any advances. The fuck? You literally were willing to talk to us before and nothing has changed and now you're not. I, this game sometimes, man. Same with that random one from um, FC Copenhagen that was available for 3 million and then he suddenly was available for 17 million with nothing changing in between. Oh dear. That's disappointing. We've got the money. I just want to give you money for a player. I even done all the prep. I was like, right, I've lined up all these players we're going to try and go after during stream, but we've just managed to miss out on every single one of them so far. Right. Okay. Let's see how this team's looking. So, Alec, who's in. Millie, Mayani, Doran, Cunningham, Milosevic, Rakov, Stoyanovic, Bart. Good. It's dynamic. True. Why didn't I think of that? It's always bloody dynamic, isn't it? Let me get rid of the unavailables. Which isn't many. Uh, okay. Let's see if there's anyone I'm missing. Where's Carpenu? I'd be tempted to start Stefan Carpenu for this game as well. Who was the third? Oh, it was um the Slovakian lad. 
The two I really want to get in today are Alaku and Carpenu, just to see how they do. They're not doing well, Michael. Sadly, not 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 well at all. Uh, I believe they were actually bottom of the league last. They've had a couple of really bad seasons, sadly. Oh. They were setting like record-breaking, not uh, maybe not record-breakingly low points tallies, but they've. Uh, or am I wrong about them? Am I thinking of someone else? No, they definitely were have had some pretty bad seasons. But we did expect that could potentially happen because obviously with the, without the ability to get relegated, there is the potential for certain teams to just get stranded down there. So it was in real life then. <laughs> oh, damn it. First match of the day, two and a half hours in. It's a transfer stream. This, this is actually, I would argue, if anything, this is too soon for a match in a transfer stream. <laughs> we had a big celebration last time when I pressed continue after two and a half hours. Last time we were in a transfer stream. I'm just trying to front load it. I, I don't think we'll be able to do the proper scout filter stream looking until such time as we've they've figured out if the scouting knowledge actually improves properly because when you can't see enough about the players initially you kind of just have to go scattergun until such time as we can actually fix that hopefully that's now better from what people have said that that's something that was fixed in the latest patch which makes me wonder i wonder if they fixed that thing where you could see the player's current ability number in the scouting assignment menu because that feels like something that if that's not fixed in this patch then god help us all does anyone know if that's been fixed? I can't look right now because we're in a match. If not, remind me afterwards and I'll have a gander. Oh. Plus, nice work from ED7 there, winning the pen. I just want to see how Elaku and Karpanu do. The two Romanians, they definitely make us better. But we are obviously sans Allen this year, which is why I wanted to try and grab that other Romanian guy. Just stack up on the Romanians at this point. What about real life football managers do all day? I mean, I imagine they do a lot. <laughs> I mean, they're probably taking training, working on tactics, looking at recruitment. I imagine they probably work a lot more than other proper jobs do sometimes as well. Osborne. Oh, nice. Moses. Come on, square it. Or just... Okay. That's a good finish. This is why I really want Sunisa Stojinovic to stick around. He's the most goal-scoring right-back I think I've had in a very long time. He just seems to pop up in weird places and score goals. He got six goals last year from right back. Look at this for a finish. Just scoops it over everybody. Yeah, <laughs> they spend the entire time babysitting footballers pretty much, don't they? Everyone wants to play. Everyone wants to leave. Everyone wants to stay. Everyone's unhappy that he wants to stay or wants to leave. You know, normal stuff. Oh, oh, it's Jack Arrowsmith. I forgot that he plays for them. They fixed it. Oh, that's good, at least. Used folders of spreadsheets, true. Well, at least they fixed that, I suppose. Stoinovich is forward again. God, I like this. I wonder if we should switch, try the other tactic in the league a bit more. It would allow even more space from just... <laughs> Alaku just gets polaxed from behind there. Skips it through for Millie. Nope. Carpenter's in, though. Osborne. God, Stoinovich is just so far forward, always. Moses now. Cutting inside. Oh, it's a beautiful finish from Moses, my Annie. An assist for Soyanovic. I'm glad he's not going anywhere because he is a cracking player. He feels like the type of guy that could be with us for a very long time. Hopefully. Anyway, it's a lovely little pick out. But look at this finish from Moses. Just cuts inside. Lovely on that left foot. Oh. 3-0. Take that, Dundalk. We have... Oh, my God. Is there more? The game feels very smooth today. I feel like I may have just jinxed that by saying it. I mean, Gregerson was one of the top scorers in the league last season. So he's no slouch. Go on, block it. Oh, yes. Good clearance. Right. Off we go. Study the game. Yeah. I imagine they do a hell of a lot. Uh, what was that? He just stopped and now he's got the ball back again. He's just baiting them. Moses is just trying to get a guy sent off. Oh, I want to see a bit more out of Alaku getting him on the ball a bit more. Emmett Doran is through. Can he score his first goal of the season? <laughs> he's made the keeper look like a mug. 3 United 4, Dundalk nil. So that's everybody getting their goal here, basically. ED7 grabbing his first of the season. I would like to see him at least match his numbers from last year. Because every year he's fallen by a little bit. And this year I want to see a big season out of him. The keeper's not even paying attention. Yeah, Arisman's not playing that well, is he? I mean, no one is really in the Dundalk team. We definitely are a cut above now. Uh, this team's just got better and better over recent years. And the thing is, it continues to develop as well. Alaku. Nice. My any well, Alaku's making a run. Oh, nearly. Nearly. 
was kind of hoping this would be a quick affair, but it looks like we're about to smash them for about seven, which I would happily take. As long as the new lads look all right. Uh, Carpenu has done a solid job so far. Osborne. Ooh, Osborne's quite advanced there. Oh, hang on. Oh, Alaku made a little run. I think it's going to be tough for him, without being on set pieces or anything, to really make an impact in this team. But as long as he's racking up the assists, I'll be pretty pleased with that. Some nice little passing triangles we're doing here. This is a very lovely passage of play. If this leads to a goal... Oh, Osborne. Oh, Millie. Oh, my God. We are an absolute team of filth merchants. Oh, my goodness me. That whole passage of football was filth. We just kept the ball away from them forever. Little passing triangles. Eventually, just kind of went for it. And Millie's gone, no, no, I've got something special for you here. It's not even the best pass from Osborne, but Millie's just dinked him from outside the area. Who does he think he is? Nico Williams. Brilliant. Oh, that is in Amsterdam. Maybe. We'll have to see what happens until we play Ajax. Yeah, this is oddly clinical for us. Even by our own standards, this is surprising. Millie always gone short. That's an unusual one. Wait. Oh, dear. <laughs> After all that, he's just toe-poked it into the side netting. I'll let him off on that one. He's had a good half. Is there more? Maybe we can give PSG a run for their money. Who knows? Stoyanovic now into the box. Oh, dear. That's bad. Yeah, they just clear it straight back to us every time. I'm liking the Rakov and... S Providing Milosevic can work on his heading ability. I think there's a really good defender there. Stoyanovic with the ball in. Doran Seller over the crossbar. Hang on. I am on... Key. Yeah, I am. Uh, they are the second best team in the league. Uh, admittedly, this is the cup. The, like, present... The, the charity shield, essentially. Perfect. Yeah, they've not had the best start here, but we have kind of gone full all guns blazing in this match. Like, this is the first team and then some. I timed the wrong perfect. <laughs> he spoke too soon there. Come back to me when you've got a hat trick. But you do have a new contract, at least. Moses has done well. Alaku's just there. He's just learning. He's just getting involved in the team slowly. Not expecting miracles out of him off the bat. But as long as he's just continually... Yeah, probably should start. But we haven't got anything coming up specifically. I think it's just another... Uh... Yeah, I mean, the bench. Maybe Carno for a bit. Sharif and Millie. No, I'll leave Millie on in case he can get his hat trick. Green Penguin Boy. Thank you very much. If he dies, he dies. Sick. If he dies, he dies. It's true. I mean, I'm not wrong. Uh, maybe get Petroni on. Get Howcroft. I might as well give Tommy H a little run out. He deserves it. We're in the league with a goalkeeper up front. Probably. Oh, hang on. Oh, my Lord. That was an effort. Already past the 13th minute. Yeah, true. Subs are so blah. Subs are so passe anyway. Yeah, Howcroft is... Oh, dear. That's unfortunate. Come on, Bart. Show me why you're worth all that extra cash. Oh, it's fine. They've, they've made the save for him. <laughs> he was cleaned through. We're going to give away a penalty now, I expect. Oh, never mind. Oh, dear. How dare we give up a goal to these guys? Undeserving. That was some 500 IQ play, though. Like, running down the left, pretty much clean through. And he's like, no, nah, I think I'll just keep this ball in play. That was bad defending from us there. Nah, maybe I'll get him off. Uh, yeah, might as well go Sharif and run out. Oh, I've already made all my subs. Never mind. Yeah, it's a mercy one. They do like giving up that one random goal, don't they? Bart's such a good lad. He recognized it. Yep. Gregerson will probably bang another 20 in the league for him. Hopefully they can keep hold of him. One of the things I was worried about is potentially one of the issues we didn't have with Norway was that very rarely were players from the other clubs leaving to go to like nations similar in size because they weren't switched on. I wonder if having Scotland switched on could actually cause problems for the other Irish sides because they would be potentially likely to lose their players to them, which hopefully won't happen, but we'll see. He's just looking out for that bottom line. I, I rate that. Hey, Viking. One even hitting a nine. Yeah, that's... I would. I mean, we are five one up in fairness. And Carpenu... Oh, oh, oh. Of course, Jack Arrowsmith. Of all people to score against us, of course it was... Why has my keeper got the ball? <laughs> Arrowsmith's like, give it back. Can't you tell him Scotland? Uh, yeah, I can. It's just whether I should. Oh, chat. It's a rarity. Can we get a high David? And then could we get a David would have scored that? Oh, dear. They've not actually been that bad in this game. It's just... Please don't let them have another one. If we could avoid it. Kind of have just taken our foot off the gas a little bit. Oh, hang on. Hat-trick for Millie, maybe? Oh. David would have scored that indeed. He would. It's just, it's just facts. 
He certainly would have scored that. That was rubbish. The it's always the former player, isn't it? Always the former player that gets you. I say that. We won 5 too. What do we care? We were 5 up in the first half. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. No one cares. Come on. Move. Another piece of silverware for the cabinet. We must have like a separate cabinet specifically for those trophies. He said hello back. Good to know. That's, that's some fine manners there. Ah. Right. Okay. So oh, it's the league and then it's the Champions League. They won the second half. True. He would not score that. Oh, I don't know. Right. Consecutive wins record. Oh, is it just the consecutive wins record in that? Hang on. What? A new Irish president. Wow. <laughs> Bloody hell. What a record. <laughs> it's a one-off game. We are six unbeaten in it, though. So I'm going to take that. Does that mean if we did that in the league, it's the double? Because I'm going to count it. Ryan McEwen. All right. Fair enough. Jack Sec. Love it. <gasps> Chat a Brazilian. That will talk to us. Oh, I see why. Still. It's good to scout him. It's not every day. I still don't understand how we managed to sign Alan. The man was clearly way too good for us, but yet he was willing to talk to us. But not another player since has been willing. Maxim Soccer. Perfect surname, although he's a goalkeeper, ironically. Uh, God, there's so many players that are not... Yeah, and then the rest of you. Oh, an Indian player. Nikhil Fernandez. There we go. That's kind of sick. Came through at Tenerife. Nikhil Fernandez, born in Tenerife. He'll get he will get India caps. Oh boy, will he get India caps? He's probably like full on hundred caps for India potential right there. Stuck in a love triangle, maybe. Treat treaty. Uh, that's the same. Yeah, we leave that as it is. Nice. Uh, he's moving apparently. I oh, spray wanderers, I suppose. Okay, so Warford there, and then I believe in the midweek, then it's PSG. <laughs> nice and easy. Although we did look good against Dundalk until we didn't. I still want to try and get that guy. It feels like we've lost depth in certain areas as a result of that. And that's concerning. That's not preseason. That's one match, right? Yeah, don't want to give, don't want to overdo it. Let's see if Giga Chad's got anything for us. Still representing Mason Mount. I think these two... Oh, hang on. Jamie Townsend looks new. Maybe. Damn it. Didn't mean to hit full knowledge on him, but apparently we're going to get it anyway. Yeah. See, how many people does he represent at this club? Or is it just Howcroft? Howcroft and Emmett Doran, of course. He represents the two... The two... What, two of our... Of course he does. It's Jackson Mills. He only represents the cream of the crop. We tend to have the issues. Well, the issue was this time was a bit different because I'd actually prepared. I actually found players that I wanted us to sign. We've just managed to miss out on all of them because of weird eccentricities. Things like that stupid crap about... We had... They accepted the contract. He was willing to talk. Some nonsense there. Then it broke down. Then we come back and now he's not willing to talk. But he was... But not for the same reasons. Weird. And annoying. But it looks like that one's kind of had it. And that, that was like our dream signing. Because our midfield is still a little bit light otherwise. Alvaro Sagredo. Do we play PSG? No, we were about to do so. We've got Waterford next, then PSG. I have to give up dual nationality. Ah, okay. So he might not get any India caps then. Then again. So we'd have to sort of give up his Spanish second nationality. But he's unlike... Yes, please. What's the betting? He says no. Safik Tunshal is about to say no to a loan deal. The joke being, of course, that he has done nothing but complain about wanting to go out on loan the entire time he's been here. Yeah, one of the, the big test really is Waterford, right? Can we get past the mighty Waterford? Only time will tell. Red Swiss, thank you for the follow. So he rejects it. Oh, he's blatantly going to reject it. Like, we offered him out for loan 10 times and he still complained that we hadn't done enough to loan him out, which was funny on its own. But then when we finally did get some offers for him, he turned them down. Sanelli Nzuza. God, Super Sport United in South Africa really are generating some superb players. Oh, a guy at St. Pauli. Nice. Load more players. There's a few in here that actually could be workable. This guy's even considered a B. Orlando Santa Maria. Okay. Okay. 
In he actually might be an intrigue. There's definitely some good stuff coming through now. I'm just kind of hoping I can get hold of that to Serbian lad, though. But we just, despite him being number one on our scouting priority list this entire time, we barely got any information about him. Hang on. Treaty win in the UEFA Youth League first knock. We just beat Feyenoord in the UEFA Youth League. Hot damn. That's incredible. Well, okay. Ooh. Yeah, our under 19, they got out of their group, remember? In the Champions League, the under 19 Champions League, and now they've knocked out Feyenoord. To be fair, our under 19s are pro There you go, told you. Rejected the loan offer. This man is an absolute menace to society. Oh, and you rejected it too. Bloody hell. Come on. It's top flight football, you mugs. I hope that's not going to be an issue later. I do wonder if that could potentially cause problems. I hope that the gap doesn't get so big that you literally can't get anyone to go on loan. I'm hoping that's not going to become a problem later because that wasn't an issue really in Norway for the most part. It did occasionally rear its head. Oh, there's the, uh, the youngster from uh, Valor. What a cool name. Jelani Yongapin. That's a really interesting surname. Also, I'm constantly being shown Fulham players here, but very, very strange name. Love it. Scouty, scouty. Oh, an Armenian too. Oh, he's at Son Etienne though. Then again, it's not the end of the world. What if we've got them down to under a thousand players? Yeah, watch them win it. That would be quite something. I wonder how close we are to getting this under a thousand players. Oh, see what I mean? Like, once you can discard, it gets down very quickly. It's well under a thousand. It's like halved just in the course of today's stream. Right, Collins is back in training. Don't care. Right. Uh... I might actually go kind of full strength here. Mm, hang on, no, should I? That's silly, isn't it? Harry Potter on the places before school. Yep. It was Chamber of Secrets specifically, wasn't it? It was the game that we used to play before school. The Harry Potter game on PlayStation, I should stress. It's not some weird sex thing. Um, oh, dear. Hmm. No, you. I, I think we should rotate. Makes no sense not to. Might as well have the fully fresh squad. Sharif, Daly, Karno, Matheu, Chavera. Matheu there, really? Carpano, Trevik, Cunningham. Well, I can't have both of them playing. The whole point of rotating is that one of them doesn't play. We've got Czech Cissé running. There we go. Was after school? Obviously, yeah. We called it detention. I think we might lose this. But if there's any game against any team that we could probably beat with our hands behind our back, it's probably Watford. Actually, wait, what am I doing? I don't want Mura there. I want Bayrak. Like, he's still considered a five-star potential player, and I feel like we're wasting him by not playing him. Even if the game doesn't consider him the next Jurgen Klinsmann anymore, I still do. As a bonus for getting through the day, exactly. Perfect. Right. Get this done. On to PSG. Seen their keeper. Well, who? Hang on, who is their keeper? Did I miss something? That's our keeper. <laughs> For a second, I was like, hang on, they've got a McGowan too? Who is their keeper? Is it Ty Ryan? Of course it is. Oh, of course it's Ty Ryan. To be fair, he's actually been there a while now. He hasn't moved since. Like, we sold him to Waterford and he's just chilled there. Occasionally in the top flight, occasionally not in the top flight. I do feel a bit for Bayrak, but I mean, look who he's been behind in the team. Moses and I feel like I need to start using him though instead of Sharif if we're gonna have like a play if that's the choice then I feel like I should always favor check well okay then could we count that as the goal instead if it's all the same go on Nathan oh that's a I thought he was gonna dribble that into his own net then oh. Considering it's a weakened side, a very weakened side, it still looks pretty solid. Yes, the Wolves, he's actually in goal for us right now, Ollie. Um, that is him down here, Oren McGowan. Oh, what a finish! Nathan Daly, what an effort! God, he came through the Youth Academy in the first season of this save, did Nathan Daly. Probably still the best prospect from it the entire time, and it's just never quite found a chance to play for us. But, you know, scores a league goal for us there, 1-0 treaty. 
1.4 against me, but no shots on target. Oh, yeah. I've had a team get over 2 XG in a game, and they had like 17 shots, but zero on target. I think one of them was a penalty that missed the goal entirely, or I think it hit the post, which doesn't count as a shot on target. So, yeah, that kind of helped the numbers a little bit, I'd say. But yeah, Oren McGowan, when he joined us, the Wolves guy, he actually had five-star potential still, which is incredible. So, Wolves were just massively misusing. Exactly, he's our top scorer in the league, is Nathan Daly. What a guy. Oh, dear. Ha-ha! Oh, my God. I thought Carpenter was about to put that in his own net then. If we can win against these guys with this, maybe, what, third choice team? Uh, maybe not third choice. It's probably very much second string at this point. And that's good. I'm glad we've actually got a proper second string. And there's some quality players in this team. Petroni's in there. Uh, Carpenter's in there. Chavera's in there, for crying out loud. Oh, dear. Nathan Carlisle equalizes for Waterford. Come on, lads. You're better than this. Oh, goal and clipped up. It felt like it was very much going that way. Whenever the ball rolls along the goal line, you never can trust the player to actually clear it properly. So often they'll just go, no, no, I'm going to... Uh, just kick it in the moment, you know? Even though he offered him clubs about six times. Yep, that's the same thing that happened with Tunchel. So we offered him to other clubs. I think we counted ten times we offered him out for loan. And it never let us fulfill the promise. And then when he finally did get a bid, he rejected it and then complained. So, yeah. Silly nonsense. But that's FM sometimes. It's dynamic after all. Chink's not done that well today. But I don't want to bring on any others, really, because we're just wasting their time here. Any ground we lose in the league early days, we can be able to catch up on once we're out of the Champions League. His goals are beyond us, yeah. Diluted Watford. <laughs> just add water. I'd quite like it if we could dilute them with some goals, but at the moment, it's looking like the other way around. Right, here we go. Come on, Chenk. Yes. It's a chance for Rui Fisher. Oh, God. It's gone wide. Oh, dear. Go on, somebody. Matthew. Dicky Franks. There's so many players in the box right now. I'd be happy if they scored a goal. Just because they deserve... Ah, oh, no. <laughs> so many deserving players in the box there. Matthew. Rui Fisher off the crossbar. And Cenk Bayrak can't react. I think he was off... Oh, Fisher was offside anyway. Even with the heavy rotation, we've still been massively the better side. But have failed to take our chances. Where have we heard that before? At least Andorka losing. See you later, Viking. Enjoy Tesco's. That's less than ideal. But we'll take it. Allows the guys to be rested out for the uh, PSG game. What do, you, what do you reckon the aggregate score against PSG is going to be? I reckon 7-1 on aggregate. If I'm be trying to be realistic here. I reckon we lose 3-1 at home and 4-0 away. I think we'll be able to score. Just because we've got that ability to have a little chance here or there. But I just don't see us doing much. Unbeaten in the league, true. Ten all, imagine. Franco Belli. Wait, he's actually available for half a million from Atletico? Hmm. Still worth it. Have a little look. Emmerich Kramer as well. Wow, expensive, but what's he like? Ah, could be a player there. What's happened? Uh, what's happened mostly is we've missed out on every player we've tried to sign, disappointingly. That, that's the biggest takeaway so far, is that every player we've tried to go after, we've missed out for one reason or another, which is disappointing. Uh, you can come in for a trial. Uh, you guys, unless there's that man in there. No, that's fine. Ah, I can't discard them, though. Damn it. 4-2, uh, that'd be something. How many games are the group? Uh, no, no, no group. This is knockouts. We're in the knockouts. Uh, did I miss any lookups? No, I don't think I did. Right, let's do this newest one. Oust. Uh, I'm going to need a bit more than that. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need a bit more than that. Because that's going to be every player in the game. And several countries too. Uh <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that's not even close. I was just trying to find a lad called Oust. Imagine if there was, like, an amazing regen we found because of that. Dominic Fritz. Oh, yeah, it's Dominic Fitz. Sorry, my bad. Oh, he's Austrian. Right, I see now. I, I get it. Have I missed much? Uh, mostly, we were just sorting out some transfers, bringing in some new guys, then 
missing out on a load of transfers as well. But the squad is definitely still good. We've picked up a few good players. Most of our best transfer business comes outside of Windows because we've got more time to think about it and just target players. But I was still hoping to pick up a couple of those guys, but we've been a bit stiffed on them, unfortunately. Oust is the goat. So now you know I have to change his name to Oust. It's, it's, it's an inevitability, right? Fernando Ovala. Oh, I just get sad every time I look at him. He's just not very good, is he? Still won't talk to us, by the way. I mean, that's not true, is it, either? If we tried to talk to, at any point, he would not talk to us. Oh. Yeah, they've absolutely ruined him this year, unfortunately. He's just not very good. I would say within about six seasons of the save starting, he would no longer have been a good striker for us, which is crazy. Maybe if we'd got him at the very start somehow, then maybe we could have developed him and got a better version out of him. But yeah, they've absolutely ruined him this year. It's such a shame. Ah. Oh. Is he? Oh, he is. Yeah, Slovak orphan. Nice. Not nice. I mean, obviously, the lack of the parents part. That, that, bad. that is bad for him. But I love players sporting that have never had a club. For defamation. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. A couple of my Fernando Alstalar in it. Okay, PSG are home first as well. Okay, that's a full rotation anyway. We know. Oh, wait. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Uh, does not move into channels. Pour in the air. Okay. Stays back at all times. I I don't want to put that on just in case we do have to apply him as a, a right wing, as a right back on attack. Avoid, yeah, fine. And Emmett Doran to develop his left foot. Okay. We'll take that. Hey, Jack. Not, not hey. Sorry, I was talking, who was I talking to? My apologies. <laughs> I just completely got off of it there. Um, who was I talking to? I don't know what I'm talking about, chat. My brain has completely gone. I reckon it's that sausage roll. It's affected my head. Hey, you shaped sofa. Oh, dear. Brain wonders. Did I already do that? Making positive development again. Oh, he's now three and a half stars. God, he's good. He's only getting better. Uh, if you do exclamation mark Discord, you will find... What? We didn't make that promise to him, did we? We gave him the star player thing, and that was it. I am almost certain that we did not give him that promise, did we? Great. This should be fun. So now we have to find a midfielder. How long have we got to find one? 11 days. We have 11 days to find a central midfielder. Fucking fantastic. Hmm. Problems. Judge issues. <laughs> Henry with the 13 months. Some say that's not very lucky. Now the problem is we can't afford to break it to him because loans work on that promise. Do they? Yeah, the problem is loan from who though? Because we're outside of most major European transfer windows. But it's definitely worth a crack. For us to just try to find someone because we need we have we can't afford to piss him off because you know what happens then they get annoyed at you for three fucking years over some silly nonsense um right okay do a bit of that set this to like a more general role just let that populate itself oh dear you're right yeah we were trying to get um well one of those two other guys who i figured we'd be able to get at least one of them but obviously Today, FM's just had other ideas. Let's see if there's any players we already have scouted. Oh, there is the guy from Le Havre, but would he count him as a midfielder? Oh, he is a midfielder. But I bet you we wouldn't consider him good enough. Higher up clubs. I, I want to try and get this guy anyway, but I think you're right. We need to find someone else too. Uh, hang on. This needs to be auto-sized so I can see a bit more. Oh, this is so much on the screen right now. <laughs> it was good, Henry. Yeah, we had a nice weekend. I kind of want to get Bastian Gauthier anyway. Because he's kind of nice across the board. Potential. Probably quite cheap. So this guy's rep. Probably quite low because it's half star. But I, I want to get him anyway. Like, because we were going to sign him. So this is not really the same thing. Um, let's see if we can just find a really expensive player. Hmm. That's obviously just purely based on um, transfer value. 
but there's a chance they will have higher rep. Yeah, so he's got one star. I mean, I don't know what they're kind of looking for as far as, far as that goes either. One and a half star. James Hayes. What would Leeds be looking for to try and loan him? Oh, it's fine. It's fine, chat. Don't worry. They only want £7 million to loan him. To loan him. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Some of the loan requirements, they've actually got worse, if that was even possible. The amount that AI clubs want you to loan their players now. They either want you to pay nothing or pay an exorbitant amount. Oh, luckily that one's only 1.4 million. Jesus Christ. Well, so we've, hang on, let me just adjust. Oh, it's already on unsure. Fairness. I mean, how, no matter how long I change the length of the loan, <laughs> it wouldn't matter how much they want when they would, but like, we ain't paying it. Um, okay. Frank Dunn at Man United. We don't have a deadline day feature, if that's what you mean. Um, you don't get that in this league because of course not. Why would you want a, a feature? <laughs> um, free agents. Yeah, but we still have, to, we have 11 days. If they're no good, you know, just because they're free agent. The fact that they're a free agent in February would worry me because where would they have been released from? Because all the contracts for most European nations wouldn't have ended at this point. So they would have been out of contract for ages. So free agents is going to be virtually nothing. Remember, it needs to be big enough that this guy actually considers it to be good enough. And that's the problem. Loaded for one match. Is that even a thing you can do? Uh, first thing I'm going to do, actually, is get Bastian Galthier sorted. Not huge wages. Breakthrough prospects, fine. Find a low move, lol. Uh, we can probably switch around that. So they said, what was it? 130 to 1.3 million. We have Artie's agent on this very day, which means if the amount they want is not that, anyone expiring can get on compensation. It won't matter though, because if we get them, if they're expiring, then they won't sign until the summer and we need them now. And you don't always get the buy now option, weirdly. Sometimes it appears, sometimes it doesn't. And if we were to get unlucky and it doesn't appear, then we've basically wasted money. We also do have some more players coming in the summer, hilariously. Gavin, as Osborne, will join us permanently in the summer, but that doesn't count either because reasons. Uh, okay. You'd think that me signing up a player that just hasn't joined us yet would also count as me strengthening the midfield because I am doing so. They just haven't joined us yet. Let's see. Yeah, they'll probably want about 3 million. Let's start with 250k. Two point three million transfer value one thirty to one point three million potential value one point two point three. What is the point of these then? Usually you can halve it though. Yeah, but it's still always the higher end of it. So this is basically just nonsense as always, for the most part anyway. Um, right, okay, okay. So I'm going to try and sign him up, but we are going to need to find someone else in the meantime, a loney probably. Oh, this is tough. Maybe just high ability? Uruguayan at Rangers. Another playmaker. I don't even know what to do here. Other than hope that that guy that we sign is good enough. But I bet you he doesn't consider it good enough. Because it, you have no way of knowing what they actually consider good enough to fulfill the promise. That's another problem. It's one of these vague promises that you can break. Get an alternative. Yeah, I know, but... Brilliant. Yep, we'll definitely do that. Who? <laughs> That's what we're trying to figure out. Um, it's like, I don't know who we go after at this point. Um, like, there's, it's just, there's a thousand players here. Reputation. Yeah, but we still have to actually pay for the player. I'm not just going to sign a player because they have high rep. Like, we still want to actually be good, you know? <laughs> Orlando Santa Maria. He's the guy that we were looking at from uh, America de Cali. Wasn't he? The, the thing is, it, it's the fact that it doesn't tell you what they specifically want. Can't mark for shit. True. He's also 18. We're also true to United. But his positioning is bad too. Hmm. And the skin you use. Uh, it shouldn't do, no. I mean, I, I don't use the default skin. I kind of like him. It depends on how cheap he is. Nope. 
the promise is not that come on that bold of you to assume fm has that kind of depth to it no it's a case of basically unless you sign a specific player that you don't know who they are then he'll get pissed at you basically uh, that that's the problem with it because it doesn't tell you specifically what they would consider strengthening the midfield it's not quantity it might be quality we don't know because it doesn't tell you what <laughs> zaki boy thank you for the follow i might try this guy anyway because they've actually dropped it slightly ask players to recommend signings uh you can but that doesn't really make any difference um same nationality no that's that's for when you have to fulfill the promise about bringing in a player to help him settle i think that has to be same nationality i suppose i think you're right he could be more of a winger Hmm. I, I might just try this guy in the meantime. Because why not I? These are just players I was looking at anyway, so while we're here. It's a pain. I hate stuff that's really vague because it just gives the game 8,000 ways to fuck you when you're just trying to have fun and play a football match game. <laughs> it's, I hate that vague stuff because then it's like with the promise, uh, with the loan promise thing where you don't know how many times you're supposed to offer them out. Um, right. Ah! Oh, shit. Well, I fucked that, but... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Let me try that again. Just like... The, exactly. Just like the Karma Sutra. Where's he gone? Oh, hang on. Uh, there he is. Let's try again. It's fine. I'm just uh, going to go back in and get rid of this. Put that back to where it was. That way we can try this again. Because I don't want a 40% a of profit clause in there. Not if I'm so cheap. Yeah, this is fine. We can get rid of this. For me, 225k is... It's worth a punt. That sort of punty money. The way I look at it. Why would he be... Oh, of course he'd be ineligible. Because, wait, why would he be ineligible? Which other European side has he played for? <laughs> Weird. Hmm. We still need to try and find a loney, though, I think. Because that's two guys, but... But first, we'd have to negotiate with... Let's just try and get these guys in first. Maybe, actually. Let's just get them in. See if they actually want to negotiate first. So you do and you do. Cool. They don't want large money. They're not on high squad contracts, which is good. Cool. Uh, Mega Chad Hunt. Uh, we've, well, we had a little look at him already. Alakai any good? Yeah, he's probably the best player at the club. Um, we'll be loaned out this season. That's fine. Actually, no, I'm going to remove that just because I don't... I'm obviously going to want to loan him out, but I don't have... I don't like having the promise to loan them out because, of course, it's just you're just making a rod for your own back by doing that. Because just in case you can't loan them out for whatever reason, because no one wants them, you don't want to run into the issue of them getting pissed off at you because of it. Uh, he's French, so we can actually do a bit of work on this. Knock that down. Might be able to hit him with an eighter. Cool. Yep. Nice. And Santa Maria. You'll be a bit more complex. Stepping stone. Probably not, though, mate, eh? Like, because usually Stepping Stone is the one that automatically includes a release clause. And we're trying to avoid those if we can. So, that's league games. Now, he's a Colombian international. He's not a Colombian international, but he could be. So, what would he be worth to me if he actually got a call up for Colombia? Probably like about that, I'd say. Drop that down. Because you're already 18, which means he would join us immediately as well, which is important. Cool. Yeah, sorry. We were just trying to sort out the issue, basically. So this is Alaku at the moment, in case you're interested in what he actually looks like. These lads any good? Uh, they're pretty decent. Basically, Mr. Progger, we've realized that we must have set a promise to Mihai Alaku when we signed him last stream to strengthen the midfield. And now we're trying to figure out what that fucking means. You know how it goes when you're never quite sure what you actually have to do. <laughs> we can yeah, if only the game cared. <laughs> oh. He has very good... Um, mentals for someone who's so young as well he's just a really solid player and incredibly his values actually doubled since joining us which doesn't usually happen because obviously our squad values all over the shit bear in mind he wants us to strengthen the midfield the reason we signed him was to strengthen the midfield but let's see if he'll accept these two new guys joining us if they will dundalk right come on preferred to oh my god he actually wants to go oh <gasps> yes come on some chat it's happening they're putting bids on our players if Tunchell goes to Dundalk and Sluka goes to St. Pat's St. Pat's have been picking up some solid talent this is good we got the Romanian in. Uh, it's a different Romanian if you're thinking of the one from earlier we haven't managed to get him yet unfortunately 
play trying to sign is actually for that position. 90% of the time, it seems that it is that's the case. Very rarely have I had a player that wants that promise where you strengthen a certain position. Almost, as you say, nine times out of ten, the position they want you to strengthen is the position they fucking play in. Um, we did have a guy actually earlier that wanted to strengthen the midfield when he wasn't the midfielder. So that it can happen, but it mostly is, as you say, like that. Except Matt Blake, who was happy with whoever you signed. Right, so now we've got to distract ourselves from the transfer shenanigans with a bit of uh, PSG. <laughs> nice and easy. That, that seems fine, Iron Now That makes sense to me. It, it's when they want you to strengthen a position that they are playing in, and therefore the reason you're signing them is to strengthen that position. That, to me, is asinine. But that seems to be the most common one. So, Doran, Millwood, Alaku, Mayani, Osborne, Esteban, Cunningham, Milosevic, Rakov, Stoyanovic. That's pretty much top... Uh, let me just make sure. Maybe Carpenter on the bench, actually, instead of McGowan. Don't really need two left-sided players on the bench either, so I might put Chenk on instead of Rui Fisher. And Travera's knacker from the last game. So that, that seems good. That's a strong lineup for us. That's about as strong as our lineups come, I would say. How long will we hold out? I don't know, Mr. Bro. I'm saying 7-1 on aggregate, honestly. I think we've kind of... We're going to struggle. But it's our first ever experience of the Champions League knockouts, isn't it? And also, just in case you haven't seen this guy chat, it's David Oliver. He's 25 years old. I just thought I'd let you see this player that PSG have as a reason as to why we're probably not going to do very well in this tie. Because David Oliver is about to absolutely destroy us. He's like that guy that Chelsea had on the last save. Was it Darren Shaw? Only 17 caps is actually kind of crazy when you look at how good he is. They paid 100 million. No, they didn't. Or did they? 110 million from Bayern, who paid Fulham nearly 90 million. Comparison with Doran. <laughs> oh. He's just like, he's literally just Doran, but better in every single conceivable place. <laughs> Never trust a manager. I, I like that. Good thought. Yeah, Fulham, to be fair, Fulham have churned out insane um, talent in this save. Some of the, I mean, Fulham do have an extremely good youth academy, but in this save in particular, the amount of Fulham players I keep seeing in my transfer reports just makes me jealous. I'm like, why can't I be managing Fulham? Because Marco Silva's doing a fantastic job, that's why. ED14. <laughs> uh, we owe them. As many as well, I think there's going to be an opportunity for us to score in this site, uh, in this tie. Honestly. Surely compare stats with Doran. I mean, did you not see? There is no comparison that he is better than Doran in every single way. <laughs> He's just... He is... Yeah. He's just Doran plus. Plus about a thousand. It's kind of like, you know when you get to the end of an RPG game and you've upgraded all your armor and everything and your sword? He's like that for Emmett Doran, essentially. Man's jangling. Ah, oh, see you, Morgus. Max, our only real one. Um, our only real player at the moment is Bart. Take a crook. Exactly. It's simple. We kill the Batman. <sighs> oh, oh God. Yes, Mariba. It's Erling Haaland and it's off the bar. Oh, he's losing his touch. Yeah, Declan twice is still there. We've actually had a, a, an okay start. Jeremy's ball. Oh, dear. Uh, well, look at that. It's David Oliver. Would you believe it, Chato? He really is their version of Emmett Doran. They're even aiming corners at him. It's Treaty 1. Whereas Mr. Booty, he is currently our under-19 assistant manager now. Or is he an under-19 coach? I forget. One of those. He's in the coaching staff now. This is very, like, elevated. Oh, hang on. Straight off the bat highlight? Maybe. I just want what? Oh, my God. <laughs> I just want one goal in this tie. That's all I want. Millie. 11 and a half minutes. We didn't last long, did we? Doran flicks it on, and we might be about to concede two goals within a minute of each other, I think. That's fine. Go on, Anton. Yes, nice. Esteban. Okay, less of that, if at all possible. It's Florian Verts. God damn it. Haaland's throw. Oh, he's gone around the keeper. Oh, no! I mean, he has prevented the goal but he might get a red card for it. They're checking the pen. Imagine if this doesn't... Ah, it's given. Yeah, yeah. Mo um, Rakov's always had a mohawk. It's kind of cool. So we might be about to go two goals down here. Uh, and of course, this time it's Haaland from the spot. And but 
Oh my god. Our player hauling him down on the goal line has actually prevented a, a goal from being scored. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's ridiculous. What a 500 IQ strategy there. <laughs> Pull him down on the goal line and save the penalty. It's like Luis Suarez in the World Cup. He didn't even get booked for it, remember? That's staggering. Maybe it's our day. It's not. <laughs> oh, hang on. Go on. Oh God, they're so aggressive. He's just going to lose the ball any minute now, isn't he? Nice. Space for Osborne. Stojanovic is very, very strangely positioned there. Oh, God. Not helping ourselves with that passing, are we? We want to try and force them long so they have to actually battle us physically. Jude, even Jude's playing. Silveretta would be stoked. No, no tactical changes for this game. We only really have... Well, we actually haven't even used the league tactics, to be honest. El Barto. Yeah, he's been really good at that. Man loves to save a pen. Important ones as well. Oh, God. Right, come on. This is yours. Yes, Milosevic. Nice. Get it to Gav. And we got... Okay, Gavin, you have to stop doing that. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Gavin's just passed it straight to him. <laughs> okay, well, that's not gone well, has it? It's still only 20 minutes in. It's the way that Osborne, look. Like, I know you're trying to find Alaku, but really? <laughs> come on. That's just schoolboy stuff. I thought the chance had gone, honestly, when it comes out wide like that, but it's just a great finish. They are nervous. I mean, I'd be nervous too. <laughs> like, they're playing against PSG in the Champions League. I'd be amazed if they weren't nervous. Hmm. Yeah, it's not been a good game. It's pretty much been exactly what we expected, really. Let's face it. Or well, Hollister again. Well, they love that little cutback, don't they? Oh, dear. It's gone straight through the goalkeeper. <laughs> okay, Bart, I know you saved a penalty, but that one was kind of right at you there, bud. Maybe my uh, idea of the 7-1 was a little bit ambitious. <laughs> Turn this around. Mm. I admire your optimism. Uh, it's not directly at him, but I would like to see him do a bit better than that, if at all possible. Oh. Yeah, we are the Dundalk of Europe. Worst thing is, we've not even been that bad. <laughs> That's the dumb thing. 7-1 of the night, maybe, yeah. Hmm. The, pro the, thing, the biggest issue, really, is just the sheer bad passing. Like, I can understand them intercepting it, but he didn't have to intercept it because it was given to him. Um, fuck it. I'm going to make him a central midfielder on attack in the second half. <laughs> just push him forward a little bit more. We're already losing 3-0. Let's go. Oh, not the right button. Yeah, that's, that Pickford non-save again. Was it the second goal against Spurs? Was was not, not great for him, was it? Uh, you just drag it across. Hang on. Oh, you just drag it across, Hef. Um, as far as I know. Alaku! Oh, Mihai Alaku! Treaty 1! Paris Saint-Germain... That's not going to be disallowed, is it? No, come on! Mihai Alaku, that is why we signed him. That right there. Welcome to the club. Treaty 1... PSG 3. We've got to go back. This is a nice pick out from my 80. Look at this. He just strolls onto it and scoops that into the top corner. What an effort from Mihai Alaku. Come on. Oh. Oh, dear. Now we've woken them. So, hang on. I'll show you what I mean in a minute, Hef. Um, because as far as I know, you just drag it across. It might just be the skin I've got, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, I think we've probably just woken the dragon with this. And they're probably going to get more angry. Oh, God. Hey, go on, Barty. We've got the goal. I thought we could score against them, and we've had the chances today. Baz has not done well. Uh, I might get Carpen in. No, there's Gav, honestly. Substitutions are probably going to be quite necessary soon, I suspect. In fact, I might just do it now. We're at the 60-minute mark. Gav's been shit. Oh, damn it, though. If I at least got Carpen in, I have. Okay, cool. That's fine. Millie's not been good either. Might have to get Sharif on. Get a bit more height. I don't really want to... These two are both ball winners. We, this is what I mean. This is why I wanted that other guy. Because we wanted extra bodies for the central midfield role. The more the more attacking, creative role. We really have very little options. And we're going to have to bring Howcroft in. Just because... Yeah. He's not fantastic there, but it'll do us a job. And it's Tom Howcroft. Oh. So yeah, on this screen here... 
You could just sort of drag it like that. that. That's how I get them like that anyway. We need a sort of, as you say, we need that kind of center mid with a good bit of passing, good work rate that sort of gets up and down. That's why we were looking at those other guys. Hopefully, that French guy kind of does do a bit of that. So if we could get him, that must be offside, right? Uh, yeah, he's offside. Cool. If we only lost 3-1, I'd actually be kind of proud of that. We've committed a lot of fouls, but I think we're good value for our goal, if nothing else. Oh. Moses has intercepted this here. Oh no, such a bad pass. Holland is so quick. Luckily, we've pushed him wide here, so just... Oh, Anton. You s I mean, at least he didn't do it in the penalty area, I suppose. Just when we needed to go down to 10 men. The one time I actually make three subs rather than leaving that second dangling one. Uh, well, that's fine, actually. We just do that. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to offset these two. Like that. <laughs> Oopsie. It could be screen size too, yeah. Hang on. Alaku's got it again. He's got support out wide. Look at the speed. Man's aggressive. I like it. Miami. Oh, Moses. Wait, has he got it back? Oh, he's lost it again. Wait, what is this passage of play? <laughs> They just, neither of them want the ball. Holland flicks it on, and that's going to be caught by the keeper. Modric, probably not. Also, I imagine he's in his mid-40s by now, so almost definitely not, I'd say. All right, Bart, be careful, bud. Don't you dare roll this out. They're two on two with us here. Going long. Oh, Sharif's got it. This highlight continues. Alaku again. Nice, good build up. Howcroft, Sharif, there's the ball. Emmett Doran. Oh, no. Oh, God. Imagine if Emmett had scored there. That should have been 3-2. Miami's ball. Doran off the crossbar, and it's treaty 2. Paris Saint-Germain 3. And, well, he might have missed that sitter, but we're back in it, lads. <laughs> lads and lasses. <laughs> Witness it. Treaty United 2, Paris Saint-Germain 3. We're actually giving them a game here. There is... Count them. There is four guys that challenged for that, and Emmett Doran's out jumped all fucking four of them. Go on, Emmett. We're down to 10 men, remember? Miami. Oh, no way. Oh, no. I thought we were going to score there. Imagine if we'd scored another one just then. Look, we're down to 10 men. We're just doing what we can at this point, but it's just staggering. I thought we... I felt like we'd be able to get a goal. I feel like we've been good enough this year and shown enough that maybe think we could score against them. The fact we've scored twice, although we look like we're about to concede one here as well. Maybe. Oh, that's such nice. That's such nice football. I think he might be offside, though. Bring on the oh, Spectra! Thank you for the follow. Oh, Emmett would definitely beat him. And he would definitely beat him in a drinking battle, for sure. That looked like it was a tad offside. Although, apparently not. I assume we'll get the tight offside replay in a minute. We can see for sure. But it definitely was given. Here we go. Let's see how close it was. Is it just me or was he clearly offside? <laughs> like the foot didn't even line up with the line. <laughs> Jeremy. Oh. That was weird. He he looked offside there. Like the, the line was not drawn to where our defender's leg was. That was bizarre. <sighs> Bloody. He's off in two. He lol. <laughs> I can't believe someone's actually gone for it unironically with the, it's so in 2D. Yeah, I know. We're not playing in 2D though, are we? <laughs> it's, to me, if your 2D match engine doesn't match up with a 3D match engine, it is not fit for purpose. That's sure the point. We did win the second half though. That's the main thing. I can't be not angry with them though. My face is frozen. Grave Grip, thank you for the five gifted as I'm, you can see that my face is definitely happy right now. Definitely happy. One second. <laughs> Thank you, Lukes. Thank you so much. Oh. Let me just try and fix this. What a picture. There we go. Sorted. <laughs> See, we did better than Leal. I'm still annoyed about that one, but hey, it is what it is. You're facing 2D, innit? 
<laughs> my face would be offside in 2D. Right, let's go. Like, to me, you can't have an engine that is so disparate from itself that it doesn't... <laughs> like, that's not... Most people don't play in 2D. Um... Oh, he stopped looking at Tommy. Oh, God. Both Esteban and Rakov are going to be free... Uh, suspended for the next match. That's concerning. What? Oh, my God. They seriously didn't get any of the transfers done. Why did they wait so long? I accepted the moment I could. I've never seen that happen before. Why did they put the bids in so late then? So all of those cool transfers that we'd got set up for the players to go out on loan when they approached us have now failed. Fuck's sake. Watch him get pissed at me now. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I switched to it early on. Um... Because I felt that it had reached a point where it looked good enough that I could move over. Plus, I'd already been playing my streams in 3D anyway. So, like, I, I was a 2D stalwart for a long time. Because it does give you a better idea tactically a lot of the time. Oh, shut up, Tom Sawyer. <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> He's happy to stay. I was trying to piss him off. Oh, dear. Right, we're running out of days here. There he is, Orlando Santa Maria. Okay, we'll keep scouting you. Emir Urkan, okay. A few more of these guys. Also, there's an element of just kind of role-playing it. At the end of the day, if we're looking at 3D and it looks offside, we're going to role-play that as if it is offside because, obviously, um, it's just more fun to role-play it like that anyway, isn't it? So, um, okay, we'll do that. Get rid of these. We move. Ah, <sighs> well, we can play that Irish Champions Cup. Are those guys ever going to get back to us? I need those guys to hurry up about those contracts. Because I want to make sure that we can get a loan in. In the meantime. But I don't want to have to... I don't want to basically go and get a loan that we don't need. Because it could potentially cost us. Uh, wait, how am I... Still at Benfica. See, I hit enough, yeah? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's a great player. It's a shame that they have at least done him. He's definitely been, if anything, buffed this year. But so much so that he's unaffordable until you reach a certain point. Like, maybe if we were Tromsø again, we could have snatched him up early. But, like, the fact is, the guy actually plays for Benfica. Like, regularly. Like, 26 games in the top flight. Not last year. Hey, Chiru. I did have a good birthday. I did. Uh, we just lost to uh, PSG. 4-2, though. So, you know... Positive side. No, Roy. Terrifying news there. I thought we were about... Imagine if it was a career-ending injury for Roy Galvin. What would we do without him? Have we got two games in between? Oh, we've got bloody ages in between. I forgot that the first round of the Champions League knockouts has that ginormous gap. Okay, good. Good. Here we go. He's, he's injured. Oh, thank you, Darwin. Uh, we are currently in the knockouts for the first chance. For the first time. Uh... Knockouts of the Champions League, that is. Uh, we've been in other knockouts. We've been in the Europa quarterfinals. Uh, what have I missed? Uh, basically that. Roy Galvin in section. No. What, you mean like for his own protection? Fair one, I understand. Right, okay. Is this going to satisfy this guy? New player in. Uh, yes. So basically we are trying to satisfy a stupid promise. Great. Injury pro, he's here. Uh, is he? Uh, doesn't appear to be. Okay. Right. Let me just deal with that for a second. Geordie Va Joey Vandermeer. Nice. Thank you, Permanent. It's very kind of you. We had a good day. Ooh, Boschko Vidas. 2.6, though. Oh, he's way well too expensive. And uh, we'll get rid of you. Set front of which, well, we'll see. At the end of the day, he's not listed as injury prone, so... And half the players we do have that are listed as injury prone don't seem to be injury prone either. Right. Uh, so when does the... Tra when does the other transfer get... I think there was a work permit, wasn't there? Okay, it's fine. It's tomorrow. See if this one counts. Come 
Come on, please. I just give up with this fucking game, man. Ah, oh, to be fair, we only did... We just signed two new central midfielders, but I guess that's... <sighs> Jesus Christ. If this causes us to get this guy... Ang like, what are we supposed to fucking do? Nah, you're right, he's rubbish. It's just rubbish, this central midfielder here. I just don't know. Worthless. Oh. This is mental. But this is the thing. Because it doesn't give you any guidelines as to what you're supposed to do, you're just at the whims of whatever the fuck it decides is the right midfielder for you to sign because it doesn't tell you. So now what do we do? We have to find a loanee because I can't... So I'm not going to sign any more of them because we don't know what the hell it wants, what he wants from us. So that's two guys. We've, two central midfielders we brought in and neither of them are good enough. Uh, so we do have a senior affiliate. It's Strasbourg though and they don't have any players that are... Like, they just don't have the quality anymore. And unfortunately, our board refused to get a new senior affiliate. Breath and breath. Is it, think it's the contract? Sign players that are better than you have. Oh, why didn't I think of that? I guess we should just randomly sign Messi, shall we? Like, <laughs> obviously, we want to sign better players. But, like, <laughs> it's, it's not as simple as just... Th there's a reason we signed him. Because he's going to make us better. But we can't... <laughs> not every player can be this guy. <laughs> oh dear! Like, oh, like, what do they expect? Not every player is gonna be a better player than the last player, because if they were, then yeah, I wonder if it is the contracts. Terminate. The problem is you can only terminate inside windows, but that could work. Hit and misses. Yeah, but we can't afford to have a miss when it's three million pounds. <laughs> We can't afford to miss out on our best player getting annoyed at us because we filled some silly, dumb promise that doesn't even make any sense. What players would suggest? Well, the, he wouldn't suggest because he wouldn't suggest based on the promise. He would just suggest players. Most of the time, they wouldn't even suggest good players, but we can try it. Uh, let's see. Times for target. No, suggest transfer target. Oh, it's the same menu. This should be funny. Set, uh, loans. All roles. That way, it's no specifics. One random player from Dundee. Who's a fringe player at Dundee? Sorry, Dundee United. <laughs> Thanks, Bedran. Like, if he wasn't happy with our good players, then I don't suppose he's gonna like a guy who's uh, a fringe player at Dundee United, is he? Solid. Oh no, him being good is irrelevant. <laughs> Whether he thinks he's good or not is irrelevant. It's how we. Yeah. Which players? Like, which player are we gonna ask? Also, most of the time they say no. In fact, I can you even do that anymore? Let's see. Right, so he wants us to sign a midfielder. Let's ask him. I mean, I never, I've never, do you know why I never do it? That's why, because they never fucking have a suggestion. <laughs> I, never once have I actually had a player give me a suggested signing. It's just a waste of time. It might as well not be in the game for all I know. This part has never, ever worked for me. Not once. It's just a waste of, it's just more stuff that doesn't need to be in the game. Um, So he wants us to strengthen the midfield, but he's not willing to suggest anybody. Oh no, that'd be silly. Oh, fucking hell. Right. Although... This might be, uh... Oh my god, screw this guy. Fairly professional personality, apparently. Are you serious? <sighs> fucking hell, FM22 is a mess. The, the, dy the dynamics on FM22 are a fucking joke. Just a mess. Everything is broken. Ugh. Oh. Right. So now what do we do then? Um, I guess we got, we've just got to go looking at loans, basically, since we can't get any good information. We're just going to have to try and find a loanee. Professional at moaning, yeah. 
<laughs> Pretty much. But that's just every player, no matter what their personality is. We have the same problem with another guy with good personalities. That seems to not matter anymore. Yeah, so I've had that happen before with the captain. Usually it's when you're brand new to the club. So when you, like, I've had it on my journey, man, say that when you first get there, you can't ask your captain to do anything. Because, you know, that would be silly expecting your captain to do anything. <laughs> um, let's just try. and We're going to have to find a lone E then. But they have to be of a certain quality, don't they? And it's like, what does that mean? Since we don't know. Twenty five K a week. I'm not paying fifteen grand a week. Just to appease him. And it's got a mandatory fee on the end of it. Um oh, Jesus Christ, man. So there's a thousand players there. They have to be midfielders, obviously. Uh, what do we even do here? Because it'd be cool if we knew what he meant. So is it based on the squad? Is it based on the quality of the player? Is it based on the ability of the player in terms of the star rating? Is it based on the contract the player's under? Is it based on whether it's a loan or a permanent signing? You have no idea because it doesn't fucking tell you. That's what I mean. Stuff like that should not be as vague as that when it's so important to the intricacies of your save. It should not be allowed to be as vague as that. Let's see. So is there any new boys? Well, that's ability here. Let me just sort by transfer value. See if any new ones have cropped up. Why is it reshuffling me back across every time I do that? Uh, so there's the Chelsea and the Leeds guys, which we can't afford because reasons. Did we look at Frank Dunn? I forget whether we looked at Frank Dunn. They still want us to pay nearly a million quid for it. Abom! Thank you for the 30 months. Happy birthday for yesterday to UNM. Visage souriant. Visage souriant. <laughs> we signed a guy called like Jason Good. <laughs> He's really good. So even they want us to put like what? it's still another million quid, isn't it? Like I, we shouldn't have to pay a million quid to just appease a, another player. Also, how do we know that this guy's going to be good enough? It's like he is very good. In fact, I, I really like him. I've looked at him before. There's a reason why we have him scouted, but. Uh, well, it is realistic to make demands, but it's also not realistic for them to have no actual quantifiable values upon those demands. Like, if a player came in and said, I want you to strengthen the midfield, they would be very... And it was somehow written into the contract. There would be very specific terms which would allow to be met, right? It wouldn't just be strengthen the midfield with some ambiguous fulfillment, you know? Yeah, this is the thing. But best pure ability-wise that we can see is Kenneth Taylor. Based on playing time of the contract. So what do you reckon? Try to take a guy on a free transfer who's dog shit and then just give him star player. <laughs> Imagine if that worked. <laughs> Should we try it? Because <laughs> it doesn't matter if the guy gets pissed at us, does it? <laughs> Imagine if that worked. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. You know what, right? If this works, it would just show you how dumb the dynamics in this game actually are, wouldn't it? Honestly, right, let's see. Expired, uh, wait, which one do we want? Because one of these encompasses multiple ones, isn't it? Is it is it expired or unattached that we want? I forget. So rarely that we've actually done this. Mess with other players' morale. Uh, I don't think it would to the point that it would be like an issue, hopefully. Right. Uh, yeah, the problem is they're actually at clubs. Okay. Alia. Right. Random Azeri man. <laughs> Hi. Youngster. Sir, I could do you one better. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. He looks like a star in the making. I should stress, I was only joking around. It's just, it's a bit funny when it's like, I would love to just sign better players, of course. But like, if that's the case, we might as well just say, why don't you just win the Champions League every season, I guess. <laughs> like, we, we did sign better players. The guy in question. Um... Very swift. Oh, wait. No, he's going to have to be on 300 pound a week, isn't he? Because it's the minimum we're allowed to. Because, hey, look. We finally hit the Irish rule barrier, Chato. Uh, okay. Im hang on. Just want to make sure you are a centre midfielder. Yep. Imagine If this works, I swear to God. And if he doesn't, then... I should have maybe put on a one-year deal, though, shouldn't I? If this works, I might just fall out my damn chair. Hopefully, he'll agree to this quickly. He should do. Let's face it. 
Five pound appearance fee. Yeah, let's face it. He's probably not getting there, is he? <laughs> he's become the next Roy Galvin. I wish he'd hurry up and hang on. How long have I got left on this now? Because six days. He better agree to this quickly. Watch him like drag his heels over it. Hi, mate. You're being offered. <laughs> You're right. He probably thinks we're scamming him. If he could hurry his ass up and accept this contract, that'd be just ace. I swear to God, if he drags this out. What are you doing? Just agree to the contract. Uga. I'm willing to give him a thousand pound a week for three years to try this. Sometimes if you give them so much, they just accept it instantly. Oh, we've got a fucking game now. <laughs> God damn it, man. Oh. <laughs> I do love these harebrained schemes we always have to come up with to try to like work around the game to make the game work how it's supposed to. Oh. Imagine if this worked, though. But I think essentially what we're doing at this point, we're basically testing to just try to work out what the game wants you to do. Because that's really what we're trying to figure out. He'll turn us down. He'll join Dundalk or something. Oh, no. I'll tell you what to do, chat. He'll join Scammer at Rovers on £325 a week because he wants to get that £9 appearance fee. If it, if it works, got some TikTok content. Thank you. Good point. Yes. Always thinking about these things. Making a decision early. I don't think you can, can you? I probably could have done, actually. <laughs> Imagine if this worked. That would explain why Matt Blake was always so happy when we signed people, because we were giving some quite expensive, like quite high-end contracts in terms of squad status for a little while when we were having to strengthen so much. Obviously, that wouldn't explain why he was like happy every time. What are we calling it? That's a good question. Um, Right. Okay, right. Yeah, because if this works, we need a properly pithy name for it, don't we? Who was it? Whose idea was it? I'm just scrolling back up chat here. Hmm. I think it was Icarus. It might have been Icarus. So we could call it the Icarus effect. <laughs> If we could pull this off. Did ED7 score while I was scrolling through chat? Oh, nice finish, Moses. Go on, lad. Right, I'm going to do a rare empty chair. Because I want you guys to be able to keep watching the match. But I need a piss. So I'll be back in a second. <laughs> There we go. Good, ma some good management there, chat. You did well. 
See you got them a red card. Fair play, guys. Well done. I appreciate that. Thanks for taking over for me in the meantime. I didn't see the point in pausing it because otherwise <laughs> we just have to sit and watch it together anyway. <sighs> oh. The Azari buy scam. I like that. The Azari method. Oh, I've frozen. GG's. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> I'm just going to see this play out because what are we doing? That is a good freeze. It's a solid freeze. That's one of the better ones lately. I'm mid headphone removal. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Yeah, only mods can do the left right thing if that's what you're wondering. For obvious reasons. We've had some good quality freezes. I had a freeze prior to stream on Thursday last week. So when I was just setting up stream, it froze while I was vaping and it was like mid cloud. It looked really strange. Oh, that's not a bad port. Oh, never mind. Oh. Uh, can you imagine if this actually worked? Because if not, then we'll know it's not based on the squad status. It'll be based on something else. But then that begs the question of what that's based on. <laughs> oh, he's oh, yes, Esteban. Chasing it back. Oh. Hey. And if that's the case, I'd be more than happy to use it in future, honestly, because in my mind, that's just me balancing out the nonsense. There's few, there's areas I draw the line, but that ain't one of them. Right. Get Howcroft in for Mr. Complainy Lots. Get Jacob Carno in. Maybe a bit of Patroni late on. Based on the stupid stars, it could be. Uh, in which case, we could probably find a loan that would maybe fulfill that requirement. You are nonsense. Oh, yes. Yeah, watch it be another one of those promises that's actually broken, like the uh, the loan, the player loan out one where, as we've done before, where you loan them out literally 10 times and it still says it doesn't work. We're all nonsense. Exactly. I, I think if, yeah, as you say, if it's not the squad stay, because it wouldn't be measuring it on anything else really, could it? I don't know how else the game would be able to know that. It'd have to be that. Oh, well, 2 no win. Oh, wait, no, maybe three. Go on, Howie. Oh, Reputation? It could be reputation. But then the question then becomes reputation as a relative to what? So the problem with that then, it would be a case of we wouldn't know what reputation we have to aim for. Is it higher reputation than the player? Because if so, that's kind of dumb. In fact, if that's the case, it'd be very dumb. CA compared to the rest of the squad, but like compared to the rest of the squad's average CA. So a player that's above average, how much above average? This is what I mean. Having stuff like this in here is very ambiguous and a real problem. That That's the issue. Presumably, if it was based on CA, it would have to be based on a certain amount above the average CA of the squad, but then you'd have no idea how much, which means that you could sign three excellent players that might just have slightly lower CA, and suddenly that's not good enough. It's mad, isn't it? Um... Sign so Pulisic. Uh, probably not. No. <laughs> I mean, in fact, no, probably. No. <laughs> I'm going to be straight for once. No. And when I say that, I mean quite literally can't. Oh. Current ability compared to the team's CA. Yeah. But then it would have to be based on the team's average CA. But I want to see him. Okay. Good for you. <laughs> Enjoy. You presumably, if you don't have a copy of FM, then apologies. We do actually have, if you want to look at him, we have a, a player lookup thing that you can look up players and stuff in the database, if that helps. Um, never straight, that's true. That's true. Right, let's see what happens. Right, yeah, let's see if we can do that. I think he might just do it anyway. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wrong button. Where can I ask this? Um, good time, mate. But if you want to continue being uh, a bit of a silly, then that's that's on you, I suppose. Um, right. Okay. I don't know if I want to look up early. <laughs> Pulis. So we're going to look up Tony Pulis, right? <laughs> oh, he's in Milan now. Fair one. 145 caps. Not bad. Oh, the speech bubble. Right, yeah. So I've never actually, again, I've never found much use for it. It's another one of those features I found that doesn't work. Because what happens is you go in and ask them, and then they say, I'll make my own decision, thank you. Um, 
You can see. I, I, I can indeed see. Yep. Moving on. <laughs> uh, which speech bubble are we talking about then? I'm, I'm really struggling to see the speech bubble. Okay. Uh, no, not going to do that, obviously, because we're currently doing a, a save, as you can see. <laughs> And we will continue. It's not always there. Ah, okay, fair one. It might be because we technically just offered another one. So the game might be just... It's sometimes there. Um, yeah. I'm this close, Exodia. <laughs> oh, I know you can, but I'm not going to. You see? It's beautiful. Uh, let's see. Oh, so oh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, Twitch is reminding me constantly that he's a ban evader. So <laughs> if that helps, chat. Um... Uh, we'll just we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Let's just see how this plays out. So that's Pulisic. Okay, well, I mean, end of the day, we're going to enjoy our save here that we're doing with Treaty United, and you can tag along, watch, have some fun, or, well, I mean, that's up to you, really, isn't it? <laughs> oh, is this a is this a thing, Mike? Have I missed something over the weekend? I swear to God, if that is after. Oh, wait, hang on. No, it's, it's the... February's a short month, Chateau. Oh. To be fair, I actually had um, someone else in chat the other day that was flagged as that, and they were not that at all. So I'm always a little bit, like, on the fence about it. It's very strange. Um, they were just, like, a normal chatter. So it's very odd that it does that sometimes. Right. Um... Rename Brunus, it's a lesser Roy Galvin. Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, that makes sense, right? Cool. This rubbish in now. Right. So I think we'll be okay here. Oh, God. Uh I think we might be about to get fucked here, chat. Should we try and find a Loney? Uh... Oh, wait, oh, hang, on hang on a minute. Wait a minute, we might. Oh, Force, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, sorry, what was the question? Please, please elaborate with your question. Do you reckon if I did that thing with the uh, optional future fee of like 300 million, they'd be like, what should I say no? Imagine if they said no. Uh, so, uh, as I said, if that's your question, the answer is no. And we can move on. Yeah. <laughs> well, chat, I think we should do Milan. I don't think you can understand. It really doesn't matter how far or near. There's no distance that could stop my persistence. It's just a few days of the year. All right. Um... I love it. They still want me to pay 300 million, but they also want me to pay that on top of it. Incredible scenes. Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll be fine. Thanks, mate. If it's all the same. But again, carry on being a walloper and we're gone. Ah. <laughs> Chat, think about it like this. At the very least, we have a new meme. <laughs> ah, sometimes I like to play with my food, alright? <laughs> he asked some good questions. <laughs> um Add the buy Add the buyback? How do you mean? We're not bear in mind, we're not buying him, we're only trying to loan him. Um I think you lot missed my perfect rendition of a part of Holiday by Dizzy Rascal in response to that, and I feel highly unappreciated. I'll have you know, chat. I feel very unappreciated. <laughs> I, I I'd like to try and keep optional buyback clause. Uh, but what I mean is we're not buying him, so we don't need a buyback clause because we're not buy we're only loaning him. Um, that's the point. We're just trying to uh, actually, chat. 
Let's see. I just yeah, oh Jesus yeah all right it's obviously just a troll um let's just is it worth trying to get a buyback no no what sorry what I mean Matt is I can't put a buyback in a loan deal oh yeah wait hang on can you with a future oh my God sorry you're right I've never known my apologies Matt I never knew that you could why would you have a No, I'm sorry. That's Brent. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> now I'm only allowed to offer a thousand pounds. Yeah, I don't actually want. If it's glitches, I don't want to do glitches. Um, but I might be tempted to do that. So now they're not interested, even though I've met the terms that they were asking for. <laughs> Fuck it up. And Emu, thank you very much for the gift of sub to Pulisic, who we shall never see again. Never heard of him, mate. He's not that guy with the Roy Galvin poster. Oh, dear. It was just a, a word. I thought I'd give it a crack because no optional 300 million. It's optional. It's weird that that makes any difference considering it's completely optional. Ah, oh, I just want to... My concern is... Right, so here's my concern, chat. We turn over to March... That player signs for us, but the other guy gets pissed before he signs for us, which is why I want to try to find a loan signing now before anything else happens. Uh, right. Okay. If we could just find a player with... Right, let's try... Okay, we're already off of that. Let's do some loans. That's... Why did I just do that? <laughs> oh, why was I doing that? Yeah. I want any. There we go. An Irish free. I mean, we could get an Irish free, but we're looking for... They'd have to be good. Uh, that That's the problem. We don't know what we're supposed to get. Um, sort of gets pissed anyway. You just don't sign the free guy. Uh, true. Yeah. We at least have that on our side, but like, it doesn't really matter. The price on him is, is so cheap anyway, but yes. So maybe we should just go for the highest ability rated loan. Irish free is a prey... Uh, yeah, good point. The reason I wanted to sort out a loan is in, in case that... Loans are quicker than transfers because you don't have to do contract negotiations. So that's why, you know what? You, I take it you guys have obviously probably seen this when you, on the final day of a window, they'll say something like, you might not have enough time to get a transfer through, but the loan might work. That's the reason for it. So I'm trying to get like a backup on a backup, essentially. Uh, so it only has to be... Well, there's no point in me getting a winger just because I would at least... If we do get a player... I mean, he's... Cheap enough wage. Oh, please. Just just let us... They still want 300k. But... If it causes us to not have this problem... The problem is, chat, I kind of want to know if that other thing's going to work or not. We, we have signed him, but he's not his work permit, basically. Um, but I could always... Ex oh, fucking hell. Right, let's, let's see. Chat, I'm an idiot. I gave him regular starter. Shift it down. No, no, we don't want it down. So basically what we're trying to see is if the squad status is what matters. Can he start in the league? Yeah. He's actually not bad, you know. <laughs> He's legit not bad. Okay, that's... like Actually, either way, we've got a decent midfielder out of it. And apparently that's still not good enough for our friend here. So three-star current ability. What's his rep like? One and a half-star rep. What's Mikai? What's... So he has the same rep as you. The best player at the club. Hey, Marcus. Okay. So I wonder if it... 
Hmm. Okay. Now we need to make sure. <laughs> now we just have to hope that it's the other guy. If Uga Aliyev saves us, then... One day left. <gasps> Wait, no! That means he's going to give us today. Look at the name. Which name? What? Huh? Kevin Mackay. Oh, the meme. Oh, sorry. Is this the next read the note? Is it? Is this the one for 2022? I'm so sorry. I was I was obsessed with Uga Elia. <laughs> and it will never happen, chat. Not in a million years. I'm gonna make it my life's work to never sign him again. Not that I've ever done that. Right. <gasps> oh, thank fuck. For a second, I thought we'd agree to a mandatory future fee. The amount of times I've done right. Okay. Come on. Eliev. Where are you, buddy? Okay. Gav's done a thing. Chelsea better say, been there, mate. Oh, I actually, yeah, I had it there, technically. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hang on. It came through the exact time as the fucking... It came through the exact moment as the signing of him. It's also just occurred to me that we can't sign him for another year. <laughs> He's only 17, chat. He's only 17, chat. <laughs> Online save? No. Uh, Certainly not with followers, no. J just because it becomes impossible to manage. Oh, dear. Oh, superb stuff. Um, Should have signed Pulisic. Now, now you're right, Paolo. Now, I agree with you now. Okay, Um, at least... Made a number of signs to strengthen the first team midfield, and it feels that the squad still isn't strong. This guy, man. So what does he want then? I'm genuinely curious now. Let's see what the promise says now. Wait. It's green now. Bearing in mind, this came through before I had officially clicked sign on this. I wonder if me signing this guy has made it go green. Basically, Rob, we were trying to fulfill a dumb promise that's broken. <laughs> and we were testing a theory. You got more time? Maybe. Maybe. But there's only one way to find out. <laughs> We could as you pick up an Irish guy who could join us now and put him on Star Player and do that one final test, perhaps. Hang on, how long have we got to the next game? Oh, it's fucking today, in which case I can't. Oh my goodness. Hey, we got an Aziri, I suppose. <laughs> there was me thinking, oh no, it'll be fine. We'll have plenty of time to get through the PSG games. I forgot they were like miles away from each other. <laughs> so that may or may not have helped. Point is, I suspect. Watch me go back in for the uh, the Romanian guy now. Watch him agree to join us now. Oh, not that I can do anything with it now anyway, can I? That'll be a surprise for next time. <laughs> when I sign into the save, I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, lordy lord. I should probably save it there. Oh. The kit's code for his FM. It doesn't work for him. Any ideas? Uh, it should do. Unless he's on a Mac or something. It should work just fine. Oh, unless you mean the actual kits itself. Uh, as long as he's following the steps, it should work the exact same way as yours. As long as his teams have the same IDs, there's no like made-up teams or anything like that that require different IDs, then it should work just fine. That panic loan has actually turned out to be a solid signing, to be fair. Not that it made any difference to Alaku. Oh, then again, chat, for all we know, if we hadn't signed that guy from Hearts, maybe he wouldn't have given us the extra time, potentially. Um, 
I still suspect we can grab another good signing in the summer. Because there's enough of those midfielders floating about now. And we have actually, to be fair, managed to pick up a couple of okay players, even in spite of that. So, like, Bastian Galthier, I think, is a good player for the future, to be honest, and does give us more depth there. He's not perfect yet, or any means. There's also Orlando Santa Maria, who... He's a bit of a strange one, admittedly. But, again, he's okay, and he was cheap, and has high potential, good driven personality. They're reasonable players to pick up that will give us more depth over the time anyway. So... I don't think it's the end of the one. And also, we've got Kevin Mackay. Although, admittedly, I didn't want to pay there, really. Send the kits and codes. Uh, in that case, I don't know. They're not encrypted. They should Basically, they should work. Uh, so, for example, uh, the kit basher dev would actually make me kits and send them to me. And I would just put them straight in and they work just fine. So, I, it shouldn't be a problem, really. Uh -huh. Yeah, the loan outs failed. I think the most disappointing thing, honestly, would be the loan outs failing. Really. that That's the one thing that's kind of got me. At least we've got more time. Um... But yeah, I just wasn't prepared to fail on that one. Just because you know how much... What would have happened is, if he would have failed, he would have handed in a transfer request straight off the bat within like a month of being here because of arbitrary nonsense. And you just don't really want that because it just spoils the fun. I was just going to have to do everything I can to try to assuade it, even if we have to sign random Aziri players. Is there a map version? As far as I know, there is not. Um... Right. <laughs> I suppose we should probably find someone to raid after that absolute bloody roller coaster of a stream. <laughs> bloody hell. Right, who's streaming this afternoon? Let's see. Who we got, who we got, who we got? Uh, Ooh, lots of people stream today, actually. Holy shit. Oh, let's just, let's go, let's go basic this time. Not that I'm calling him basic, I mean he is, but. <laughs> we're gonna go see Dr. Benji. Did I press up? Yeah, we're gonna go see, we're gonna go see Ben. Raid Pulisic, if only I could. Raid's got Dr. Basic. <laughs> oh, well, that was a very strange stream. But thank you for joining me today, friends. This has been fun, even though it has been infuriating at times. But then that's FM for you, in it? So I will see you tomorrow with the new Nomads. Thank God, finally. And I will see you on... Gotta support the small streamers. Exactly. <laughs> Mike's not streaming. <laughs> uh, we've got to... And I'll see you on Thursday when we finally figure out the quest of the signing the Aziri. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye-bye.